And welcome to Lohammer. It's a somber start to the episode today because we are missing someone. Let's just take a moment to say, get well soon, Sage. Get well soon, Sage. 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 Not, not too soon. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, that does bring up the immediate question, what do you do when one of your players is missing? Now, this is something that groups face week in, week out across the world. And we early on decided how we would deal with this. And that was, we're not going to do the, you ain't seen me, right? She just fades into the background as the party continues on and does stuff and then just appears again next episode. We're not doing that. We're doing something a little bit different. And this is something that you might, yourself, having watched this different episode, decide that you'd like to try for your campaigns. I will say, though, that this is designed for long-term campaigns, largely because when you're playing long-term campaigns, you tend to be playing one single character for quite a long time throughout the course of that adventure. And one way of breaking that up is to do what we're doing today. Now, today I will admit that the characters are people are that our players are playing. I almost called them our people. <laughs> <laughs> that our players are playing are this time at least relatively close to their characters. But if we ever do this again, the next time somebody's ill and do get well soon, Sage. She's got COVID. It's not nice. Um, if when we do do it next time, we might go quite wild. But for our first one, we'll take nice, easy, simple steps. And you will uh, see exactly how that goes. For those of you who've already seen the uh, card for this episode, you might have an idea about what's coming up for episode... I'm not even sure if I'm going to call this one episode 15 in the end, because I might call this one a Tales from the Reich and make it an episode 14.1 and then episode 15b. You know. Surely it should be like a zero point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, quite. I mean, Minus. it doesn't feel right. It can't be a main episode without Sage here, so I'm definitely yeah. going to make this a point episode later on. So even if it says episode 15 just now, it probably won't later when it pops up on YouTube come Monday. So for episode 14 point... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's exactly how it works. Good luck, YouTube subtitles. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing what it tries. So for episode br 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 14 point something or another, um, we're going to dive down into a slightly different place. And that involves two things. Number one, we're not going to give everyone their experience points first, which we didn't do last week either. We'll do that when Sage is back. Number what? <laughs> Two, we're going to do a little bit of setup for this episode. So, unbeknownst to everybody out there, everybody's obviously been given a new character sheet. They also have themselves a bunch of very simple missions that they have to try and succeed on, and you might want to cover that up because <clears throat> one of those missions is that they've got something that they need to say, in fact, three things that they need to say, little factoids, not necessarily very important, but three things that they need to bring into the conversation during the course of this session. And everybody else is going to be watching like a hawk for this because at the end of the session, we're going to see if anybody else spotted them. Everyone gets one guess for each player um, for something that they may have possibly said. And if nobody gets it right, they'll get a bonus XP. If they do get it right, though, Sage gets XP, as does the player who got it right. Ooh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Plot twist. Yeah. yeah. Plot twist. Um, they also have an actual mission that they have to do. A secret mission. Nobody knows what everyone else's might be. <clears throat> as they make their way through the course of this adventure. Some of them might be at the beginning. Someone might be at the end. And if at the end, the group <coughs> as a whole will get to do one guess for what the wishing, the wishing, the mission might be. And again, if they guess it, XP. And XP for Sage. If they don't guess it, just XP for the player who got the mission out. Good job. And finally, and possibly the big one, the person who gets the most of their individual missions done and everything perfectly sewn through and also are not spotted for dropping any of their little facts in will get a fate point. <gasps> oh, or Sage will get the fate point. Or <laughs> Sage will. <laughs> and we'll find that out at the end of the episode. <clears throat> so without any further ado, we're not going to run the credits first because we're going to do ourselves a little pre-credit section when we set up what we're about to do. So without any boobs and credits running, we will start with the barge, the foot shover, and a small queue of people making their way between the tower towards the foot shover 
carrying books. <laughs> because there's a certain Gerhardt, Verhardt, a certain von Jungfreud, who is very keen to gain access to the books that are down in the library at the base of this tower. Books that he has discovered and had long conversations with the local engineer with. She who is responsible for building the large signal tower on behalf of the emperor. And she made a deal with him. Sure, you can have the books, no one knows about the books, that's fine. <clears throat> as long as you help finish off this tower. Because it needs to be done. And she's already late because of all the significant delays they had with people no longer being able to work. Dying. <laughs> Lazy on the job. How dare they? <clears throat> and Gerhardt, being Gerhardt, is doing what all good Gerhards do when there's a big job on. He's reading a book. In fact, he's been reading several books. Well, uh, one has to check stock, make sure that everything's going in the right way. Indeed. Alphabetize. These things are not just standard, all right? Especially when you're moving a full library. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's how. <laughs> really say it. <laughs> so, <coughs> chop chop, come on everybody, uh, doing well. Um, yes, no, this one, if you could give that to Lucas, please, it's going to be great. Uh, pass another one. And, uh, just leaf through speed reading, so this doesn't take long, obviously. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Uh, look, look. Actually, no, you're not a good person to show this to. Uh, <laughs> you'd have to describe oh. it. You'd have to describe <laughs> it to <laughs> you. And then it just slides out of nowhere. <laughs> what, what does that look like to you? Who does it look like? It looks like Birdie. It looks like Birdie? But um, it's in a book about, well, not Birdie, clearly. Uh, the memoirs of... Uh, Magdalena. Of? What? House. House. Stuff. House <laughs> Helstein. Helstein, thank you very much. Well done. <laughs> yes. Of House Helstein. I was distracted by the good art. How <laughs> old is this book? Um, well, uh, and that is particularly fascinating. Over 200 years old, dated at 2304. <gasps> although the events that you're looking at where she's pictured are 2302. That's the time of Magnus the Pious. The time of Magnus. Yes, uh, 200 years or so, give or take. So I'm not sure why. I mean, that is Birdie, isn't it? It yeah. looks just like her. All right. Well, maybe give me one second. I'll, I'll have a little I'll bit look of for a other read. <laughs> and back to the beginning. So Gerhardt makes his way through the book, and the chapter in particular that interests is underneath the heading, the Magic Edict. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Away you go, Aaron. <laughs> It was a dark and stormy night. <laughs> Lightning! <laughs> an inn. Because don't all the best stories start in an inn? And in the corner of the inn, there is a woman who many had immediately thought, given the long white hair that was hanging out from her hood, was an old woman. She is not. One thing is certain is that she is tall. And as she lifts up her head to look around the inn one more time to see if the people she's expecting to meet have arrived, she sees finally someone who might fit the bill. Because he also stands out. He's tall, very tall, with a big fork twin-tailed beard and dressed tip to toe in red with a huge Spy-hander blade strapped to his back. He also doesn't know who he's here to meet. But he does know that he's been speaking to these people for months. One of them for even longer. Because each and every one of the people he's expecting to meet is a witch. And they've formed somewhat of an impromptu coven, which is not a word that makes him feel particularly comfortable because he, he was once a captain 
captain of the Carabao Greatswords. And now, now he's not. Because he's a witch. His eyes cast out. Let's do a quick start perception test. Do I'm going to make it intuition because I think that's a better fit here. A two successes. Two successes. That'll do for me. Um, hmm. So that could be Maven over there in the corner. She sounds like she might be old. She's got white hair. That'll do. That'll that's do. Probably her. Well, he'll make a beeline straight over there. Is that Maven? Who are you and well, why are you bothering? You'll know the name Maven immediately, so which means you'll know immediately uh, why. No. And you'll recognise the voice. I'm not Maven, but I believe we do know each other. And would I recognise her voice? You certainly would. Magdalena by Sigma! Stop shouting, I'm just here. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Battlefield stuff, you know. Bit deaf, are you? Yes, I can imagine. What? <laughs> a nice little joke between two people who have been almost certainly on the opposite ends of battlefields because one comes from Karabur, which is currently aligned with the electoral emperors and the other comes from the north where the wolf emperors hold sway and they don't get on it's not that they actually go to war with each other that often. Well, they do. Of more often than many people realise. There's a lot of skirmishing, at the very least. And a certain captain has been involved with a great deal of that from Karaburg. Similarly, as have you, but on the other side. But you've been speaking for months now, and you both are aware of the provenance of your own backgrounds loosely but it's quite different to actually be here for you it's very odd being so far south so so far south it's creepy Nulm because that's where the call came from that's where the wizard edict was called by Magnus and here you are at that point comes an arrival although she might not be willing to make her arrival well known as you come in now, they strike a relatively obvious. Well, do they? Perception test for you. It's not me intuition. You can't fail this one, surely. You can reverse fails. It's that um, you can. <laughs> You're just going to stop. Sixty-six. It's oh, a crit. it's a yeah, crit. It's <clears throat> Thirteen successes. Okay, wow. so if you've got <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, um, they're not playing starter PCs, I'm going to guess. <laughs> not only do you spot them, you also spot him. He's milling around outside, looking uncomfortable, pacing backwards and forwards. A young man, you think, maybe 20s, 30s, you recognise him, you know exactly who that is. That's Louis. Prince Louis. You've got a choice. Are you going to go in? Or are you going to go over and speak to the prince? She'll go over and speak to the prince. Hello. No. <coughs> what? No. Uh, oh, you. Right, yes. Um, hello. Prince Louis <coughs> looks like a prince. <laughs> um, it's fair to say that if ever there was someone who was clear in making his own nobility, indeed, no, royalty known, it was this man. The red, and most importantly, purple colours, all lined with gold. Gold, a particular colour that is, by sumptuary laws, made illegal in large parts of Sudden Vorbergland for one reason only. Only the von Walfens can wear gold. Only Walfens, because they're the frickin' kings. Because we're in a period of the empire where it's not really an empire. It's a bunch of fractured states. Bunch doesn't really do it. Hundreds, thousands of fractured states. And one of the largest among them is ruled by his dad. King, baby! <laughs> <laughs> but he's come by himself. <clears throat> and let's compare that to... How is she appearing? You've got your own appearance, which is dark hair, uh, grey eyes, but how is she appearing? 
Yeah. You're, you're showing your stuff off to us. I, can't, I, I can see looking. all of your secrets. You're not looking. Don't look at it. Oh, <laughs> he's appearing. I can't read you. As, so. as a man. A man. Marvellous. Yeah. Um, dressed in mummer's clothes. In mummer's clothes, marvellous. So a man in his 40s, grey hair, with a bit of a hook nose. Um, his uh, clothing is florid and cheap. And you note that everywhere where there should be gold, it's silver. Uh, does your voice sound the way it has done if we've been conversing? Not if it's uh, looking like a man. Darling, darling, come inside. You simply are standing out like such a sore thumb here. All right, come well, on, come I, on, come on. Who the hell are you? Well, you may know me as Raina Stark. Mama, extraordinaire. Rainier. Rainier. Mm -hmm. But between you and I, we have been speaking in another way. Oh, right. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> Give me a moment. Go inside mm. and I shall meet you round the back. And... Um, he'll go around. Is there like a back way in? Um, yes, there is. Yeah. And he'll let his appearance shift to shift to a tall woman with dark hair and slate grey eyes. Perfecto. You've seen them all arrive. You've been watching for a while. And uh, to make matters even clearer, the link that you've uh, initiated between them all has been pinging. You've been listening into their voices <laughs> as they've been talking throughout. He's loud, and interestingly, louder in real life than he is in your head, and that you didn't expect. You heard him from the outside of the inn. Um, what um, surprises you more is how much more loud Louis is. In, his, in your mind, he's relatively quiet, but out loud. Burr, 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 by comparison, quite different. And Lana, not what you expected. Indeed, you didn't see her until you saw her. But it looks like everyone's arrived. <clears throat> You'll be in next then if you're going in. No, uh, yeah, yes. <sighs> oh, they're, they're far more obvious. Right. Mm. I, I mean, probably at, at that point, Frederick's making himself even more obvious by loudly ordering drinks. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> beers by Sigma! <laughs> uh, 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 flounce over, obviously. <laughs> Let's see your flanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's too big for this room. Too right big. Right. <laughs> yeah. There. Fear of the money. Patreon only. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Very much so. Uh, <clears throat> I presume you are Frederick, yes? Louis? Well, uh, obviously. Very much so. Uh, realistically, come on now. Lovely to meet you. Okay, that's a big hand. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> And he's a big man, um, broad-shouldered, and he has uh, a presence you didn't expect. Um, you, you come from a family which is notorious for having, let's say, presence, and he shares it. You didn't expect that. He's big, broad, wide, and looks like he would do well leading a unit or a regiment somewhere. Not much else to say about that one. Comparatively, just yes. quick. This is probably a historical question there. Ed, historical. Doesn't, yes, Ed doesn't know. Yes. Who, who do I own? You know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, uh, no. he's uh, no. currently wearing no colours beyond red, so you've no idea where he comes from. Right. Um, but you have already spoken to him. He came from Karaburg. You don't own him. Cool. Um, that's very much owned by the Electoral Emperor, who's currently uh, not here, obviously. Uh, she comes from way north, yeah, beyond your province. No. <laughs> you've no idea where she comes from. Equally, you've no idea where she comes from. All right, good stuff. That's when you come in, and you can see them. <clears throat> Are you still sitting down over in the corner, waiting for your drink? Yes. Yes. Just taking it all in. The boys are talking. Loudly. <laughs> Guaf. <laughs> <laughs> Magdalena's over here! <laughs> Subtle. You're subtle. <laughs> what are you doing, Alana? Using that loudness to say. <laughs> are you moving over to where she's sitting? Yep. yep. Hello. Magdalena? Alana. Mm, I'm going by Hannah just now, so. I can work with that. But I. Nordland accent, indeed, an accent you're very used to. Northern. Mm hmm. Are you entering? 
Has she not been there the whole time? Um, no, she'd been sitting and watching from the outside. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, indeed. Because, you know, they might have caught you. Yeah. Well, You're going to come in? Aye. So how do you look? She... With the signs. <laughs> Wait. Short. Quite short. Five, four-ish. Oh. Um, long red hair. Pretty attractive. Yes. Yeah. Pretty yep. striking. Quite striking. Older than all these? Um, well, you're in your 30s yeah. um, in terms of uh, she's in her 50s, oh, okay. as it turns out. Um, but she looks good for her 50s. Um, she's very fit and has clearly been exercising all of her life. Um, this gentleman here, you'd guess probably 40s. He's probably about 30s. And Lana, you're not sure, but 20s to 40s. Okay. Oh, so she seems younger than a lot of them. Mm. Uh, she will instantly spot every single person yeah. in the group um, and she will approach our very quiet <laughs> <laughs> shrewish uh, sword ma- swordsman over there need to look at them Friedrich Maven <laughs> it doesn't have to be so loud you can just you can just be nice and quiet like um, sorry and I'm guessing Louis no, yes, hello. Maven! <laughs> Again, just nice and softly. This nice is, and softly. I don't know what you're talking about. This is a perfect volume is it, is for it, the situation. Is it, I can't hear you. Is it? What? Is it? Can you speak lower? I can get out. <laughs> okay, that, and that'll do. Uh, and then I'm guessing <clears throat> we've got... Magdalena. Magdalena. Hi. Nice to meet you finally. You too. And your name? Hannah to be. Okay. As you know, great daughter. Would she have known her as Hannah? Um, if she'll have known her as the name that was given. I think she'll know her as Alana. And yeah. She'll know that Hannah has been used as a pseudonym. Yeah. They've been talking for a good three months, but you've all been loosely talking to each other. Um, but first time meeting up face to face. Because you very, very much believe that coming in as a group would be significantly more likely to move through the troubles in Nuln than if you were going through individually. But Alana, among friends. Yeah. Thou art among friends, are you? I think it might be a good idea for us to get a at a table somewhere else, somewhere quieter. Maybe you well, can bring your drinks proofed. along. Because <coughs> we kind of stand out. A quiet What's table in a quiet <coughs> corner of the inn. Where five strangers stroke, not strangers, meet for the first time, although they've been talking for months. One of them has been talking for years. Training. Learning. Beer always helps bring people together. It doesn't necessarily help with the sudden clamour that comes from outside. Folk. Gathering en masse with the marvellous catchphrase, Burn the Witch. You arranged a welcome for us, how lovely. <laughs> ah. It's a sign of the times. It's. <clears throat> um, a bit lower, actually lower this time. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, when, when did it all start with you? people yeah uh, yeah just a few years ago for me just a few months before you started helping me in yeah. fact and the progress has has been amazing thank you friends in the family well, i practice ancient magics and have done as did my family before me right so you, your whole life then yeah i'm not considered a witch <clears throat> Dan is wondering, <laughs> yes. can this conversation be taking place not verbally, but also yes. run, so- run alongside wish, you can just a run verbal straight conversation? Into your heads because you have a link where you can yeah. connect everyone uh, mentally with uh, the spell. But I'm just know. wondering in terms of if anyone else was looking and they just see five people just sat. Silently. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so well, could, we can, could there be verbal stuff <laughs> in yeah, yeah. addition? Mm-hmm. Well, like, well, like meant to be, we could always not necessarily sit together, I suppose. I think we've already started that, yeah. right? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But yeah, it's, it's, so, diffuse, not by strong point. Yeah, so in, <laughs> in your heads, it'll be. I'm happy for you all to talk about 
the the magic that you're you're doing. Just remember here outside the burn the witch. Maybe just switch over to this, and then occasionally the, the simple stuff you say out loud. I uh, I have a story that I could tell. It's it's known for a long time from my family. Uh, well, base is where my father ultimately is a hunting accident actually. Um, that technically moved into the position. Doesn't matter. It's look. I just know that story for a long time, so I could just regale you that. Um, literally, just blah, straight out. No, no worries. And then everything else can. Uh, I mean, then. I've masqueraded as Rainier Stark for long enough that I can put up a good pretense of listening to you. Excellent. Making <laughs> comments. Good, good. So I can do that, and then you know. Makes it look. Let's see how convinced you are. You've got stories there, I believe. I have to have. Yeah, let's actually. Yeah, 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 quite. <laughs> Doing some. Oh, it's okay, actually. That's fine. <laughs> That's wow. really good. Wow. Um, <laughs> wow. 11. Yeah, 11. Holy successes. moly. <laughs> Capable characters. And why don't we support that with an acting role? Oh, right. <laughs> um, oh, good. I a think pair good. of you together can make quite the team. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> she, oh no, I thought it was another crit. No. Um, two, three, four, five successes. Five successes, superb. So um, as you sit there regaling the story um, of the past successes and glories of House Volfin, and um, she's doing that classic extra job of... Oh, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's a classic from stage. No way. <laughs> <laughs> Within their heads, a completely different conversation is going on. Who is starting that particular tete-a-tete, so to speak? Well, there was the question yeah. in terms mm. of when it came. Yeah. So quite recently, ancient magics. I, I, yeah, her whole life. Yeah. yeah. So what about you? When did it come on you then, Louis? Uh, I, I don't know the specific starting point. It was more of just um, freak accidents every so often. And then it's sort of like, I, just, I think so. I think it's always been there. Interesting. I mean, I was in my thirties before it happened to me. Yeah, I, 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 I um, I said bye to my commanding officer. You, uh, what you, now? You, you couldn't imagine the smell. <sighs> Awkward. And <laughs> did you know that you had done that? Yes, and I immediately left Carabag. <laughs> That's smart. Yeah. yeah, I was a captain there, but oh, not is anymore. That, is... Oh yeah. Very good, very good. Strong arm then. Uh, very yeah. good, very good. Probably two strong arms. It's a great sword. Two, yeah. two strong arms. It, it takes two. Oh, I thought you meant the arm was just overly oh. strength. I have broken some furniture. Right, good. <laughs> no, fair enough. Well, you know, it takes a few uh, eggs to make an omelette. Do you know about omelettes? They're a new thing. <laughs> 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 it's it's years ago, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds for Tony at the moment. <laughs> Maven is just waiting for a laugh. Oh, uh, are you waiting for me? But there was a question asked. I didn't realise it was directed at me. Well, once long ago, I was from House Holschwig, and um, it's a very long story. Um. The and perhaps the would understand it, but I was um I met a spirit and i I married it. It taught me to speak Eltherine and and you may you may know of them, the Lawley. Lawley! It's a big rock on the Reich, and it's surrounded by all manner of well, myth really about well, boats sinking, about spirits singing and pulling sailors down to their death. <laughs> and thou shalt perhaps not believe me, but I spent many times, many days and no days at all, learning from her the ways of magic. Yeah, no, that sounds <laughs> absurd. <laughs> but... And now I travel... The, uh, the Reichland as Rainier Stark, mama to the courts. But is it Does, any more absurd uh, than a man yeah. learning magic later? As, yeah. as you've just heard from everybody. Setting fire to his commanding officer and then learning how to cast it more constructively from a 
disembodied voice in my head. Or more ins- absurd than thee, telling a story while we speak in our minds. This is not what it seems. Why should anything else be? My darling. Yeah, I think, I think we you passed normal see, some, that some is time fair. ago. You can definitely <laughs> see why ultimately we have these, these outside, right? Witches will not be accepted in the Empire, all that malarkey. Well, no, they, they will. They will. Like, I know. Since Maven's not helping me, I haven't melted anyone's face off unless I intended to. How did you meet That's a from relief. Frost? <laughs> <laughs> how how did we meet from where? Well, how did you teach him? I, I just told him the ways to control his emotions as what he's likely to. Channeling would be a term that would be known, I guess. It's a term that you're aware of. Yeah. It's not a term that yeah. uh, he's aware of. It's not a term you use either. You've been taught in a different type of magic. It's a term that you do use. But that when he when he channels his his abilities to, to not let it overflow and to push out into the world, and that probably is what happened. I, I don't know. I wasn't there. But... There's a crash coming uh, from the front of the inn as the door breaks open doesn't just swing open, breaks, as someone falls backwards and lands on their back, bald with a large tattoo of a twin tail comet on his head. The instigator of said push... Does it? By Sigma! <laughs> <laughs> instigator of said push um, comes in um, and looks down and says, We don't need your type here! And uh, the one that's on the ground says, Fuck you. Fuck you all. Burn the fucking witches! He says, when the, You, you, you! And then from behind, a cudgel hits the one who's standing in the door. And he falls back. And the one who's on the ground grins. Yeah, witch lover. <clears throat> he says, Witch lover! Burn them all! Um, he probably says, time uh, he, he is then dragged out. No, dear, we cannot let him be dragged off. He's one of our supporters. It's probably best just to not get involved. We are five against what <coughs> ought to be many people. Could very well be many out there. Might um, be worth having a look to see. Uh, Al- Alana will go and have a look. Have a look on the outside. On the outside, there is a group of some 40 individuals. Many of them carrying placards. They are pretty basic placards. Uh, attempts to draw hammers, comets, and burning witches. Many of the individuals um, are carrying flails and whipping themselves. Some of them have got their head inside cages to protect them from any potential magic that might be coming in their direction. Some of them have even attached books to the tops and the sides of their heads to, again, protect them from evil magics like someone you you might perhaps throw in their direction. Admittedly, one of the books that you can see over there is a travel guide to (laughs) stir them. So, I, and we all know that what they really need is a lead line box on their face. <laughs> 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 and where is the person being dragged off? Um, getting dragged off into the middle of that crowd over there, and you can see burnings in the distance um, behind another building over there, um, and calls and shouts um, from over there. Someone on just the other side, just out of your line of sight, says, Madness next! Oh, dear. Well, I'm not having that. I am not letting this down. No, I, will, I will fetch him. My dear, there are more important things that we can do <laughs> than save one individual. I need all of you with me while we go and do the next thing. C- can I ask a, a magic-related question? Magic-related question! So there's a thing that I've seen Elric do, but I don't know if Friedrich uh, would be good enough at that, but in cool. terms of drawing actually out of a crowd to calm them down? Mm. You no know idea at all. You don't even understand. Well, I didn't. I didn't think you would. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah you don't use actually. You use yeah. magic. Magic. Yeah. <laughs> um, you, and you don't have the ability to draw an individual wins. Cool. You just draw magic. Cool. Um, so I might. Yes. I might. I just thought, given how fiery all of these were, I thought yeah. <laughs> you, you, you may have a particular brand. <laughs> Good choice of word. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> What's the weather I wish I'd like? Done that on purpose. <laughs> What's the weather like? Um, stormy. Mm. It's not quite raining, but it's definitely storming. It's I'll whipping the clouds may, up a, maybe, um, up ahead. Maybe if we lowered the temperature a little bit, it might drive people indoors. Or maybe it would put out the fires. Either or just guess. drive the people to the fires and more fuel on them. Well, no, look, I might be or, able to deal with this. And um, <laughs> What's my name again? Louis. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Louis, Louis, Louis will reach. Not just other people's names. No. <laughs> <laughs> Louis will reach underneath his collar, mm-hmm. pull out like the blingiest bit of bling, Sigma like mm-hmm. hammer, twin tail collar, yeah, all, yeah. all the whole shebang. Um, <clears throat> if there's Sigma, Sigma fearing people, I am technically the royal representative of Sigma, so. Um, I I can I can calm this down probably. All right. Right. Well, while you do that, I will try and extract the fellow. Sounds not, good. If we don't save one, then what is the point in saving all? You let <clears throat> evil stand. It stands, whether it is one or many. No idea. The point is to save many. You can't just stop to save one. There are bigger things. We must be practical. Well, as you've been sitting Strong discussing enough. it. Um, that person's <laughs> well behind and uh, beyond your line of sight. Um, and on, the, the screaming coming from that individual reached the point where it's relatively quiet. And yeah, and the whole cudgel to the head wasn't enough to knock them out properly. Mm. So what are you doing? Stride uh, off from the uh, uh, Stride out, arms wide. Um, you know, address mm. the collective. Yes, yes, um, yes. Uh, good people of... Insert town. <laughs> uh, you're on the outskirts of Nome. Oh, <coughs> of Nome. <laughs> um, <coughs> as he goes, like Friedrich will, will walk like behind him and to the side, l- like a looming bodyguard, and I just Very stand good. with his arms crossed nice. next to him. Good. Looking scary. Hold up. Yeah. So as you make your way around, um, you can see there's a lot of chanting individuals mm. and um, further along, mm. three priests of Sigmar um, who are dragging people up for burning. Um, two of them are women, one of them's a man. Oh, uh, the man that they're burning is the one that you saw from the uh, inn, the witch lover. Um, and they're orchestrating the affairs. Okay. Good. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Carry on. <laughs> Very well handled. <laughs> <coughs> I, I don't think it's probably something. Smooth, Louis. No, it's not, not right out there. As they're pushed out up onto a pyre, and there's people just shouting, Burn them! Burn them! <coughs> Down with Magnus! Pick Burn up. the witch! No. First, first rule No of witches in the Empire! Yes, and I mean, again, this is why witches will never be accepted in the Empire. Well, we have to make sure that they are. Now is the time. Uh, in in your head, there will be a. But I'm telling you, they will. I know. Well, I don't have the same. This this is not what it seems. This is not people who are winning. This is people who are going to ultimately lose. They're frightened. They don't understand. They don't understand you. They don't understand yeah. him. I would. But they, they will. Give it time. You, you wouldn't be here if you didn't believe there was some hope, Louis. <sighs> well, no, I'm here because I'm frightened. As yeah, well. your family yeah. would never accept you. Tell me about it. You should all move to the <laughs> well, north. The thing about your family you is they're very, they're very devout signals. <laughs> <laughs> Could be the change, Louis. So, are we going to move on into Null itself? You'll have to move through the gates. That's right. right. Yeah. yeah, you'll need to go mm-hmm. up to the palace and present yourselves, although you have no idea what that will involve. I, I think we'll be quite successful presenting ourselves or... Maybe not presenting ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> She'll say out loud, not in her head. What are you talking about? What? What I just think you've about? got quite a good talent to move around, get into places. Oh, right. So, he wants me to not present myself. Or us. Or all of us, right now. When it seems appropriate. Well, how will I know when? I thought it was appropriate to rescue that fellow. Nobody else did. Mm. Uh, oh, 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 the halcyon days of your youth. The screams of a burning witch. Is it now? <clears throat> no. <laughs> oh, right. Closer to the palace. They're definitely witches that I don't burning. like that. <clears throat> Friedrich will make the sign a of the priest. hammer and shiver. shiver. Um, <laughs> stands up shiver. on the shoulders <laughs> of a rather large person. <laughs> Um, and starts proselytizing to the masses about the evils of Magnus and how Nuln has fallen and it is their duty to mm-hmm. take the city. Have they got a big crowd yet? They've got a crowd of a few hundred. <laughs> um, <laughs> Let's pick it up. So <laughs> um, in the greater scheme of crowds, it's not going to be taking any cities. Um, but it's most certainly a bunch of, let's say, rabble-rousing types. It's enough that we don't want to tangle <laughs> with them if we can avoid it. Yeah. And that seems that's fair. what I was trying to ascertain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Magdalena, can you make it rain or cold? Make it Thunder rain. rumble. Yes, I'm going to start channeling. Ooh. Channeling an actual witch doing witchy things. Uh, so that's six. Six successes. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, the casting number of your spells, the one that you're looking for, if you're just channeling up, um, have you got enough to cast it yet? Not yet. Okay, how many do you need? Eight. So you could just cast, you've got two successes left to get, and hope you get two successes, or you could channel again, it's up to you. I'll channel again. Channel again. Um, so, um, from your perspectives, it all goes a bit cold. Um, and you hear the edge of a howl. Don't like that. <laughs> Three more successes. So you got Sorry. enough, you want to cast it? I'm going to cast Blizzard. Cool. Language magic roll, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, the walk up. Well, the walk up. <laughs> uh, seven success. So, how big is this blizzard? It starts very subtly, just falling. How slow. big is it in total? In terms of, uh, it's about five miles, but I'm not going to centre it on. <laughs> no, I'm going to centre it shit. just slightly to the south and have them <clears throat> on the edge. This is not subtle. No. <clears throat> It centers around and spirals and snow starts pouring into the sky. This into what the sky. Time of year? Into the sky. What time of and year is it? Down. Oh, so what time of year is it? Um it's uh early spring. Okay. So we're not could too be a late, snow, uh, late snowstorm. Yeah, if it had been a really sunny hot day, but, uh, I would not have done it. It's quite <clears> likely <throat> this is going to get spotted by others. Unless someone's got some method of covering that. Um, well, so. you did ask. <laughs> well, I could make them. I could make people invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Snow invisible. So oh. the way that this is cast, just just visually, it's like a, like a geyser. Uh, uh, yeah, it's like a but geyser it goes up into the snow. sky. It darkens and then it just starts oh blizzarding down. And it's not <laughs> a small <laughs> amount of snow at that. An actual it's blizzard cold. has it's come past. Yeah. <laughs> You've gone full Elsa. Yeah. Actually, actually, is there um, let it go? Like let about go. seventy <laughs> yards away. Could we just remove ourselves from the centre of this? Because it's is it centred on us? Is it obvious it's us? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah well, it's so obvious it's does her. Does it begin centred, and if we moved, it would stay where she was. No, well, she's cast it now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's done. Yeah. So we can just move out from under just, it. It'll uh, be fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of people are going to see this. You're going to have to do something, or you're there, well, there's the going to be more. Well, the invisibility that only says for five hours. No, 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 for people. They're not for that... successive people. Okay, right. I'll do that then. That's uh, strength. I think that's what Andrew said to me. Oh, okay. Strength bonus. Go for it. Yeah. Maybe S is successes. S is successes. Oh, success. Oh, success. Number of success. Yeah. Strength. Oh, for S hours, right. Um, and is it language L? Magic. Magic. Yeah, seven, eight successes. So you can just cast it straight out. Yeah. Superb. And that will cover everyone. Yeah. Great. As you all creep off towards the city gates, I presume. Is it the sort Snow of... is flurrying down. Is, is, it, the... is it the invisibility where if you look at yourself, you're invisible? Um, no. Um, it's the sort of invisibility where no one else can see, but she, you can see each other. Right. Fine. Um, quite unlike you, Mace, for example. It's not you, Mace. Right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Th- this one's a, a far more conscious and effective <clears throat> spell. <clears throat> so you can just slip off if you wish. Well, yeah, I, I can probably just slip off now. Mm-hmm. Very impressive. Reminds me of home. Aye. Mm. Mm. Usually have Sigmaritian priests doing that at home? Not where I'm from. No. An arc <laughs> of something passes through <coughs> the night into the sky. And the snow immediately stops. It came from inside the city of Null. It just begins to drift down. Something stopped the spell. Mm. Might have put the fires out though, so. Any chance of a perception test to get a sense of what that may have been? Um, I'll give you a perception test um, so you can get the direction. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ten successes. Oh wow! Okay, yeah, it came from the uh, top of the enormous hill that rises at the back of Null, um, where the palace is. Looks like we're not the only ones around. Maven's no. also going to cast a spell. There's um, quite a frenzy going from your previous crowd, who are running around looking for whoever was responsible for it. The white-haired one, witch, witch, the white-haired witch. Where's the white-haired witch? My hood's up. It's fine. <laughs> Maybe has successfully cast uh, her blood walk spell mm-hmm. just to look what? at uh, Louis to go back and see his family. Mm-hmm. 
Um, he comes from an ancient line, and you can hear the conflict that runs all the way through the bloodline and the ages that that line has fought on the side of Sigmar. You can almost feel the power of the hammer bashing its way through time with that bloodline. It's an angry line and a violent line and one that does not put up with nonsense. Um, it's also a line that is redolent with liars. Magic, does Bloodwalk kind of answer that? Not always. Difficult to tell. Just curious to see, is there other witches in your family? It's a good question. You're not sure. Yeah. Passing through the gate is particularly simple when you're invisible. It's a bit weird, just sort of <laughs> sliding through without anyone really paying any attention. I first learned this when I was 10 and I wanted some jam roly polies from the kitchen. So I cast it. I didn't realise I cast it, but I couldn't work out why, like, the, why Cook wasn't telling me off. Turns out she was pretty pissed off about the jam roly polies. <laughs> but you can turn this off, right? No, this is us now. <laughs> forever. <laughs> this is five of us together forever. You're such a wag. <laughs> that's, say, that's, that's a lot less traumatic than melting someone's face off. What, jam roly polies? Yeah. Aye. Mm. You are joking, though, right? Yeah, they were marmalade. <laughs> Alright. So, you were both young. How old were you, Raymond? I, I've i always had magic. It's It's been in the family, it's been in my husband's family. We've just always been around it. The, the old ways have been strong in our people. Similar to... It makes me quite the outlier. Her. Magdalena. <laughs> have you heard of it coming on this late in others? No. It's, it's quite interesting. It's... Um, Potentially a sign of our times, a sign of what's to come. Maybe it's just need... time. <laughs> we will need people very shortly as the ruinous powers are stirring. One would hope that the inside of Null would be better than the outside <clears throat> of Null. It isn't. There are actual demonstrations going on and riots in some parts of the city. Loosely speaking, we have a river that breaks in two in the centre of Nuln, and on the largest part, there's a huge hill, at the top of which is the palace. It looks like a large fortification rather than a palace. And a lot of buildings. It's a big city. And one presumes that you'd have to make your way up there. As it turns out, it's very easy. There's a single road that leads from the docks and the main gates you've passed through directly up to there. A relatively wide street that allows you to hopefully march all the way up if you want to just go there directly. Or if you want to come up with a plan, you might want to do that. But as we know, you don't need to say it out loud. You can just talk amongst yourselves, come up with your plan, even talk amongst yourselves once you get there, unless they dispel that spell, which they may do. Do you all know why we're going, where we're going? No. But I'm here because you like, well, I did summoned I us. did tell you. Yeah. The call, the edict. Yes. I no, I know the edict. Like this is the time we're going to present ourselves and tell him that we're here to support him. But as no. you know, citizens of the Empire, <coughs> witches and all. I understand that that is the plan. What I mean is, why? I don't understand it. Regardless of the edict, my family would never accept it. So it doesn't matter if an edict is put out. It doesn't affect your family. After all, it's Visenland that's made the edict. It's certainly not Town the Vorbergland. Exactly what I just said. Are you, <laughs> I, are you in the Vorbergland, Louis? No. You're in Visenland? Yes. So, if you can be made safe here, <clears throat> surely that's better. And Maven says Magnus is the one, our only hope. I'll tell you now that it will matter to your people. Aye. It may not right now as we stand here. As you're making your way up the um, road, uh, a clattering of hooves breaks the... <laughs> general riot of people that you're meandering through the edges of um, as armour clad knights push their way down the main street calling out, make way! In the name of the Count, make way! They have chosen to make way through the use of hammer. It's quite effective. Most people try to shy away from that as they push down towards the centre. Um, but already 
the milling crowd with their banners, mostly of comets and of hammers, burn witches, burn Magnus, says one of them. Uh, burn Moogness, but that's close. <laughs> <laughs> No, I know Moveness. He's a dick. <laughs> he Screw that coming. guy. Yeah. <laughs> had it coming. <laughs> he certainly did. Um, Only had himself. As they mind. push through, um, <laughs> the knights, uh, a couple of them peel off and make beelines over towards particularly offensive signs and bash at them wildly. Mostly missing because they just get out of the way because who wants to have a giant knight coming towards them? Basically, it's like a tank pushing its way through the crowds. Many of them push back. There's quite a few injuries along the way. Some people start crying. One woman wails into the sky. Witch lovers. Is there anything particularly bad? What do we mean by bad? As in badly Anybody wounded? Hurt. Um, yeah, one person down there is very badly wounded. She's got um, a cut all the way down there and the hoof went into her uh, rib cage at the right. side. So this, no. we'll, um, you know, the, we'll have to keep it up. All right, I think I can do something to that woman. It's right to do. <sighs> Um, is, is it going to be as unsubtle as the visit? No, I, I don't know. I, um, I no, sort you of do the word you're looking uh, for is it's effective. It's pretty unsubtle. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, effective, but unsubtle. Uh, the blazing the light. light of Sigmar himself comes down through you. So <laughs> it might be a little... Uh, because, like, this will keep up, but only if we kind of... Don't draw attention to us. Exactly. I'm not a wizard. You have great intentions, but as I said, there are... There is a bigger picture. Just uh, Ed, question. Yes, Ed, question. Sigmar is about togetherness, family, and that, yes. that piece, right? That seems good. Is that built on the idea of of a the collective is as only as strong as the single, or is it a the collective overwrites the single? The collective overwrites the single. Right. Okay. Fine. Speaking. Great. The great. Yes. Um, the greater good. The greater good. The greater good. Greater good. Greater good. Also, <laughs> also, it's shortly about like the nobles being. Right, and she's like is. totally slagging off the count. What does she expect? Hoof to the face. She had a comment. <laughs> yeah, even take witches out of the equation, that probably would have happened. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. So yeah. there's. there's yeah. You would know, Louis want to take care of a commoner? He's, um. I mean, he's the, the answer looks like yes. He's the yeah. king of the swingers. Yeah. <laughs> 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 jungle VIP. Yeah. Uh, right. No. Um. Mm. Yes. A moment of regret, maybe across his face, invisible face, so nobody can see it. Um, but he knows. We can. We yeah, can see, but I know. We uh, can see each other. There will right. be a time when you can heal uh, okay. anyone Fine. without having to worry about any repercussions. Oh, you're, uh, so, you're so cryptic, Maven. Can we just get up there to that palace? You, that's can you, I really don't think I'm being cryptic. I'm telling you that all this will come to pass. Well, it already yeah, exists in the north. Still rather cryptic. What does? Being a wizard. Yes. They have. We, they we have, have a, organizations. We have. We have a guild. What do you call them? Do you call them witches? Wizards. Wizards. The Guild of Wizards. Yeah. It's where you See, train. I told yeah. you how wizard. It's in, the how far? in Nordland. Why did they? Yeah. Why, did, why did you choose? Why did they choose that? It's in Midnight. 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 Why did they choose wizard? Why did they choose that? Better than which? No. Seems like hiding. No, it just seems legitimizing. Name something as a witch if it is a witch. It's only a witch if it's a problem. It's a wizard if you're legitimate. Yes. Which we are. The witch is also, that which people don't understand, rather than yeah. someone who casts magic. Did that young man who just got burned, did he cast magic? No, but idea. they called him a witch. Mm. Well, oh, also you can be more than one thing, you know that, Louis, right? Yeah, well, yeah, of course I do. Yeah. Of course I do. I mean, look at me. Moving along the edges of the streets, <laughs> avoiding the press <laughs> of the crowd is not too difficult. Um, there's a lot of people just milling looking around. They're not sure what they're here to do. Um, but clearly there's been an attempt to organize something somewhat coincidentally on the day when you've arrived. Some mm. great yeah. attempt at a riot or a movement or a march. Mm. Um, knights have clearly come down to push some of it apart, but all they did really was push through it. And sure, a knife through butter slices, but the butter's still there. Um, you yourselves, you're invisible at the moment. It's not too difficult to make your way up this hill. If there's a baker's, we could get a jam rolling pulley. <laughs> you probably could. I do really want one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more in the mood for marmalade. <laughs> so, um, secret truth. Any other plans other than making our way up? 
baked mm. goods. <laughs> <laughs> we, I mean, not going to lie, baked goods do very good right now. two thirds of the way up the hill and a great gate comes before us. To either sides of it, big rampant griffin, griffins with their wings spread out behind them along the uh, tops of the crenellations. <clears throat> this place is well guarded. Soldiers lying from end to end. And there is people throwing rotten tomatoes at them, various other vegetable types. Um, and they're just holding their shields up, occasionally raising them whenever something comes in their direction. There's a lot of shouting, and that's something you're going to have to get through. To make matters worse, several priests of Sigmar are walking down the lengths with censers and preaching about the evils of the witch and how the witch bring the depredations of the ruinous powers. The dark gods, as one of them calls. The evil powers, as another one says. They are bringing about iniquity, pointing towards the palace. Witches are harboured in the palace, and we need to do something. Another priest bellows as he whips himself across the back. The end times are coming, he says, because of the witches! We may have our work cut out for us. In your head, because she's not going to say mm. this out loud, <laughs> yeah. but he's right. The end times are coming. Mm -hmm. But not but, because uh, of the witches. But it's not because of the witches. The ruinous powers are active. Mm -hmm. But you know why but they, they would are, think that, though. But they're the ones being stirred to think that. No, I, I mean, why the, why the priests would think that? Sigmar did not need witches. Well, how do we know? He founded yeah. this empire. How do you we, know we, that? Were you there? If you're, I you're... know here, like touching the big bit of bling. <laughs> in, in your <laughs> important bling. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it's a representation of faith. But but her people are ancient and have been wizards for a long time. Your people my, are old. People how have do been we know been around that since Sigmar. before Sigmar and yeah. they had magic? And ma magic. So magic doesn't Sigmar is accepted. have a magic hammer? No, Sigmar has a hammer crafted by dwarven smiths. Very different. <laughs> Using magic, perchance? Nope. Magical runes? The, the thing is, nope. magic is accepted in the north because Ulrich is practical and the use of magic is practical. It's It makes absolute sense and they'll come to see that in time. And another point. Who was Sigmar's god? Ulrich. Oh, Ulrich. Oh, right. You know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, obviously, Ulrich, and, well, it's complex, isn't it, clearly? Not really. Things have moved on. <clears throat> I will say, though, it, it's an attitude that won't change too much. It will change a little bit, but there will always be a bit of hesitation from Sigmar's followers <clears throat> towards magic. And while one might think... Someone this... um, is clearly hankering <laughs> to get through um, off towards the side <laughs> as they're pushing. Just as you're, I'm saying, past where you are and accidentally nudge you. That. Yeah, and, and accidentally <laughs> nudge you yeah. as um, she makes her way forward. Um, and <clears throat> the priest who's sitting not more than about five yards away, ten yards away from where you are, so relatively close, turns round um, and bellows. What is it you want? Are you a witch too? You trying to get through to the witches? To what? No, no to the, the one woman. that's pushing mm -hmm. through. And she panics. Turns round and runs. That turns very quickly into a being mob. I, I mean, that's, just, that's awful for her, but might be useful for us. And then screams. Oh. This is... And shouts of, witch, she's a witch! As the priest comes over and just starts battering her with his hammer. <gasps> Crunch, splash of blood. Surely you don't believe Sigma would want that. No. <clears throat> no, I'm just saying he founded the Empire and <clears throat> witches. A shattered skull with half of the face on it is lifted up as the priest, blood dripping down his arm, goes, ANOTHER VICTORY! This is what I mean, that looks like the ruinous powers to me, right? That is just what I was going to yeah. say. They saw descent. They saw... Discord. Could I suggest we get in there sooner rather than later? Yes. The um, soldiers who are looking on up from other shields, they're uh, wide-eyed. I mean, it's not looking good out there. And there's discussions clearly going on amongst them and some of the officers at the back, but they're making no moves to do anything about it. 
Are we... What are you doing? We're still invisible, right? Yeah. Let's just go. <laughs> is there like a clear path that we can um, walk a, through? A, a clear path. Well, mm. is there a discernible path? There is a path. path we can push through, but you know your invisibility but, can easily yeah. fall apart if you um, what, touch people. What I was yeah. hoping is if the people right in front of us like chased after mm. her, that might have made things a bit looser yeah, in front yeah. of us and easier yeah. to get through. Yeah, absolutely. So that's like um, go so before they come back. Let's basically. go for a, a dodge test from all of you. Dodge. Uh, Maven, what's her kind of like? In modern times, you've got so magical amazing. sense and stuff. Mm -hmm. Does she sense people around her who so would her. be able to <laughs> perceive winds? Um, uh, yes, she does. Uh, How seven do? successes. Marvelous. Seven successes. Marvelous. Four. Marvelous. Three. Marvelous. Zero. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> it was a success. Yes, it was. Whoa. Yeah. Um, you graze by a priest who turns round and looks in almost your direction, but right past where your hair flicks by. Um, as the you all move forward, and as you do, the line of soldiers, their shields providing, well, a shield stands before you. Do we drop it now? How are we going to get through? You're probably either going to have to drop it or some I mean, alternative plan. Like, no, if, we, if we got down and crawled, could we? No, <laughs> no. the soldiers were in a good place yeah. to, to be protected. Yeah. But if we uh, reveal ourselves right in front of us, they may react before they think. Do you want to draw your sword? No. <laughs> no, that's exactly... I don't want them to think that we're attacking them. Well, I was more thinking for the mob. We can, we can speak, right? We can speak. Mm -hmm. uh, and that will likely break it. Me? Yes. You want me to speak? Mm. Why not? Can, can you do oh. this to them? Oh, they might not like that. Mm. I can, but it would also Weird lose our out. connection. Oh. Maybe hey. somebody of some substance could demand that we be let through. I, I think you'd find I mean, that we're all of we're substance. We're all of some substance. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not I'll all blinged up. <sighs> no, it's I fine. Do Alana will... Yeah. I'll do it. What are you doing? Um, I'll, I'll like... As we're coming up, I'll yeah, it's, it's, like, to, it's like how far away is safe. I might yeah. start to break the illusion by sort of coughing and then saying, um, There is an immediate reaction of shields shaking. <clears throat> as, can we like like make make ourselves as, as obviously? Like, yeah. Yeah. So Maybe we should so calm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, but it's more um, trying to reach your because uh, it's big and scary. Well, well, it you go no further than yeah. soldiers we seek, and then from behind, um, make way for the witches, make way for the witches. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Um, as they immediately part, um, one of them doesn't look very happy to be parting at all. The idea of letting a witch through clearly doesn't rest well him. on that. Yeah. <laughs> I will give him the biggest shit and grin of ever. <laughs> <laughs> as uh, you push your way through, uh, um, from behind, come on, Rotten Tomato. I can get you. Oh! <laughs> One successful, who's most likely to be at the back? You were sort of hanging back oh a bit, so I'm God. sorry to say. <laughs> <laughs> Splat, tomato, right across the back of your head. It splashes to either side, goes right across your shoulders, misses the bling, right. but does spray outwards from there, and it's a bit rank. Uh, turn around. Do you know who I am? <laughs> <laughs> Rapscallions! Uh, oh, marvellous! A stone, punk, right oh. on the head. Blood trickles down. Lose a wound. All right. I give him the fingers now. Louis, come, <laughs> on. come on, let's... Right. Just... I'm fine, fine. <laughs> Good show. Um, uh, the soldiers, some of them put spears down. Halberds off towards the edge. They shout, back, back! In the name of the couch, back! Um, they're all coming forward, but they're not really armed. So it's more of a, yeah, we're staying away from all that pointy metal stuff. Mm. As you push your way through and you're on the inside, it's just more of the city. But this part of the city isn't rioting. It doesn't have any trouble. So you've got a relatively easy walk up towards the palace at the top. And around the palace where you can see many of the temples are sighted. Not all, but a good number of them are up here. A large temple of Ulrich is over towards the left-hand side. A temple of Shalia. White marble, making it very clear. The hospice sitting beside it is just off towards your right as well. But the main palace itself is a proper large fortification. And on the outside of it, big statues, old statues of Sigmar. I mean, two of them. 
maybe he was a wizard because there's two of them. <laughs> Sigmars. Sigmars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Both of whom. Sigmai? <laughs> Sigmai. Um, uh, Sigmai. Are holding on to their hammers like so. I didn't expect there to be a Temple of Aldrich this far south, but it's so big. It's good, eh? Yeah. If we have time, I'd maybe like to pay my respects. Well, I think we should go see the count first and then. Reasonable, absolutely. Depending on how that goes. Mm -hmm. The palace has a large stone wall on the right, on the outside, with big gates which can clearly be shut, that leads into a further set of walls. Um, and it's quite obvious why you're here. Knights have already peeled off and they've moved up to where you are. And one of them looks down. Large group, I trust you're all here for the edict. Well, yes. Indeed. <laughs> so which one of you is the witch? <laughs> <laughs> all of us, my friend. <laughs> right. Five of you. Five. I've found them and I've asked them to come to meet with. Bloody hells. So before you go, uh, do you have a kerchief? He says, um, a cloth, something. Um, sorry, uh, who are you? Me. Uh, one second. Let <laughs> <laughs> me reference my memory. Uh, I'm Prince Louis Walford. You're a witch? Yes. Fortunately so. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, 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 get, get, get the printer! Uh, uh, get the printer, Kachif! Get... Oh, I, I had no idea. I'm, uh, <clears throat> uh, um, my, my lord. No, it's fine. Don't, just thank you. He says, Good uh, man. Uh, 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 um, uh, uh, yes, of course. As I'm off to the side. Sir, you should escort them in. Oh, uh, yes, yes, of course. Please, please. Uh, uh, oh. Uh. And he gets off his horse. Just, just follow me. And uh, he leads over towards the main gate. And uh, they're there. Um, uh, five. And uh, the one there says, which one of them is the witch? He blanches. I didn't think there were so many of them. <laughs> 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 he says, five one. He says, that's what they're claiming. Well, they're going to like that, aren't they? And so he goes, oh, oh, right, yeah. They push back their halberds that were crossed before you, and you find yourself making your way down the main thoroughway up there into the palace itself. Great griffins stand to either side of this great gate, which is standing open, and in front of that gate are one, two, three, four, five elves tall helms and great swords. Each elf with, it, with its helm sitting up above it is an easy eight foot. An easy eight foot. They're holding their swords like so at about your head height. They are tall. Well, they're a bit glad some and they got they? big long double handed swords. Oh I don't know. Horse hair tassels from the top of their helms floating in the wind as the stormy clouds move above. <clears throat> I Anything like their swords. Anything <laughs> identifiable about them in terms of where they may be from? They're elves. You don't know, sadly, um, much about elves. Um, a great I deal, at least. did. Not a great deal, at least at this point. Um, not a great deal at all. There are, their long skirts are white and they've got scale mail that glints in even the half light um, that you have here. Um, one of them immediately tips its head um, and says something in Eltharine, which you hear. And if you wish, you can translate straight across the network. I shall. You don't even need to roll. Okay. Um, you only need to roll if it's something particularly complicated or odd. Eltharine generally is, but for you, it's almost a native language. You've been speaking it most of your life. And it's, I think we've got some capable ones. <laughs> um, and the elf on the other side says, I find that exceedingly unlikely relatively low in Eltharine. And the Not other one says, Not the other one says, trust me, the one at the front, I can sense her. And to the side, that's you, um, says, so one of them, all of them. And there's a pause. Tell them all not. And one of the elves turns around and pops in. 
presume do they yeah, yeah. Gone yeah. Through not understanding mm-hmm. but hearing the voices sound male female difficult to tell yeah, they're definitely elves <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they might be male they might be female there is no easy way to tell um given that they're wearing armor it's very easy to just amusingly assume they're men yeah. um purely because there's no obvious <clears throat> um, shape but you have met elves in the past and you know that that's no strong indicator mm-hmm. When she, when she has met elves, would you know of a, like, good form of address? So instead of being, like, gentleman, you know... Sadly, no. Oh, gentle <laughs> elf? <laughs> gentle elf. <laughs> <clears throat> as um, he comes forward and he says, Get out of the way! Out of the way! Um, to the elf. Yeah, to the elf. <laughs> out of the way! As um, one stands there and says, In a uh, Reichspiel, I will... Not move, lest ordered. That's what I've done, he says. <laughs> so out the way, please. Come, scoot, scoot, scoot. I, says, I somehow think that they, they're not here to follow your orders. They're here to follow I their own words. I don't care. Not that bloody castle. We can walk um, around them. He says, we can walk around them. Out of the way, as he s- almost sneers, but steps to the side. Quite right. Bloody slow. This is a prince, don't you know? And so he makes his way. I'm frightfully sorry, Your Royal Highness. No, you did well. Um, you. He says, <clears throat> and through the network, I'll goes, just say, oh. fucking elves, condescending <laughs> assholes. Whereas as Friedrich walks past, he'll go, nice sword. <laughs> to the elf. He, he, he does manage to sneer in return. Um, <laughs> as all good elves shoot. Um, as you make them. your way up. I was stating an objective fact. And on the inside, <laughs> there is a lot of hubbub sitting in this main open hall. Mm. Um, Tables have been set up in a variety of places and there's people gathered around some of them, others talking. You're taken, however, immediately down a side corridor. Um, uh, I'll take you down here. Um, There's uh, one of them that that. that, uh, (laughs) deals with uh, bloody moth, um, uh, processing or something. Uh, They'll they'll need to talk to you. Processing? (sighs) Well, we've got to determine whether you are what you say you are and whether you're dangerous or not. Well, they'll probably have some form of list you have to sign, say that you're a register or whatever. Um, or is it I'm just going to be Hannah Graudaughter from here on out, all right? Between yeah. us and Hannah, but out there. Do you, do you have proof of that face? What? Uh, so if they ask, who are you, why are you here, do you have proof of that personage? For example, <coughs> big bag. Uh, yeah. uh, I have Cute my backpack pull out. <laughs> yeah, well, a backpack is a bit yeah. Yeah, common. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a sachet. Yeah. Valise. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, uh, valise quite. Uh, well, for example, this tells exactly who I am. It's obviously a writ of um, nobility. nobility yeah. Thank you. Quite. Um, and, you know, everything that goes on no. with it. Do you not have one of those? I don't have anything that proves I'm anybody of no. any consequence at all. And I thus don't I should think be anyone would now. have that. That might just be you. Uh, I mean, sigil of rank. I, I, mean, I mean, my patents are. I had to leave mine. I ran, didn't I? Um, I mean, you are, after yeah. all, all noble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, at some point or another, would likely have all had patents. Well, yeah, I'm sure I had one. You sometime. probably have yours with you. Yeah. Almost yours. One of these, you mean? Yes, perfect. Yeah. Excellent. Right, yours is. Case. I very rarely need to use it. No. So. I have to say, yours are both pristine. Well, I mean, mine. I. Is used quite regularly, and obviously we got the filigree put in. But where's all the the rents? Blood. What? I'd, I'd never, turn never turn the corner, <laughs> um, and uh, <laughs> uh, he said, "If we could just wait here, I'll I'll, I'll go in and um, uh, fetch, uh, uh, find out." Uh, oh, knocks on the door, and um, you hear from um, within. Yes. <sighs> was in. From the inside, you can't help but hear because you're just sitting on the other side of a not particularly thick door. Uh, we've got five of them, so five of them. Five are they a part of a? They're all one group. They arrived in. Oh, I think they might have been using magic to get here. And why do you think that? Well, they're just looking at each other really strangely. <laughs> he says, I'm quite convinced there's something going on about them. It wouldn't surprise me if they're just one person or something. And it's just some great illusion. He says, your imagination is running away with you again, sir. That is not how your witches work. 
He says, oh, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. Witches come in all shapes and forms. He says, they need to be properly rooted. Well, you, you are aware that what you're saying is now bordering on illegality. It's just an opinion. <laughs> he says, just an opinion. Nothing wrong with having an opinion. He says, well, we're mustering them up, aren't we? We're, we're putting them somewhere they're, they're at least sequestered. Gentlemen, we're not getting any younger. <laughs> well, Maven will take the very brief interlude, Chaz, to do a little blood walk on Friedrich over there. Do it. Uh, the spell comes crushingly to a halt. Ten hold. successes. Crushingly oh. to a halt. Um, as uh, you best see them in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Yes. <clears throat> Ah, uh, uh, you, 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 to come in. Finally. Very good. Yeah. He, he's getting a fucking dead eye stare from Friedrich. <laughs> <laughs> full, full on looking scary. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Good day. On the inside, there is an oh. elf. A single elf. That's the only person in this entire room. He has his hand sitting to one side, beside a, a long goblet. He himself must be an easy six, almost seven foot tall. He's wearing long, white, somewhat stained um, robes and looks like he has been through the thick of it in terms of his overall demeanor. He's impossible to tell how old he is. He's an elf. His face is angular and alien. His eyes are dark, almost black, with slight flecks of gold through them. So he looks up. Interesting. Come in. Leave. He says, pointing to them. Yeah, right, sir. How many chairs are in the room? Um, none. Oh. Just him at his desk. So he looks up and he says, "Are you a party?" I've yeah, I've I've gathered these people here under my watchful eye. Come forward to the desk, please. Stand in front of it. What is your name? Maven. 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 Is that correct? Yes. I am Finria. Says. Of Safri. A land very distant to here. Are you aware of the concept of channeling? I am, yes. Oh, marvellous. It's been in my family for generations. Third. Then I would like you to concentrate says as he plucks forth a very long fingered hand and a crystal sits there and he spins it and it floats in the air on the crystal of whatever you have whatever you feel you can muster channel into it however you do that straight up channel and test I suppose he's back and looks at you <laughs> when you said that the spell the blood Yes. So that was to cast rather than to channel. So are we still connected? You're still connected. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So you can talk. You can speak amongst yourselves. Um, Maven, be careful that you can't you can't trust these people. You this should be definitely fun. Definitely can trust them. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know where magic comes from? Well, no, that's why I'm here. It's from the elves. Well, give it up, my Louis. Oh, that's one way. That's one of problems, isn't it? Uh, five successes. As um, looks up at the gem which is spinning and a shaft of green light spills out from it. Hmm. Well, that is a first, he says in Reichspiel and then says in Eltharim, High Lower Jade Mark Three, with an edge of Olgu. Hmm. Finally channeled. <clears throat> and raises his hand, makes some small jots, and to the side, a quill immediately picks up and starts jotting <laughs> on a piece of parchment. High up at thirds, maybe as high as ninth. Can you focus that, he says. Try to focus it with all of your intensity and imagine that the gem has a centre. Make it hit it. Roll it. Three success. 
Unless it's a super easy and we can reverse. Um, no, 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 it's not super easy. Um, as he leans back, hmm. skill, unexpected skill in Eltharim, and then out loud, that suffices. Please. Are you run in <laughs> translation. <laughs> 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 quite. Yeah, so she will say, well, I think you'll find that I've been doing this quite a while. Maybe not as long as yourself, but quite a while. <laughs> Looks at you. Looks at everyone else. This one. Step forward, please. Stand before the desk. <sighs> she sighs heavily. Are you aware of the concept of channeling? You might refer to it as the flow, or perhaps your etheric <laughs> grasp. <laughs> She's. It's... She just takes a moment to turn to ten. I'm for House Hellstein, and I turn all the ancient magics of the Teutognans. I think of I can manage it. Okay. <sighs> of course you do. Now please, channel your ancient magics towards this gem. All you hear is you know, dick. Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> Eight successes plus five, thirteen successes. Holy shit balls! What the um, actual fuck? That's <laughs> enough for a single <laughs> eyebrow to um, arc up. Keisha. Unexpected. Dangerous. No. Tainted. Mostly girl. Mm. And looks around at Mark. Hi. No, it's disappointing. Waves away. Yes, that will do. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh orange glow suddenly spills out the base of the gem and bathes the table underneath it in a orange light. Hmm. Hmm. You know, did you break it? <laughs> no, you didn't. Again, telepathy. Yeah, yeah very well. well hmm. Good job, Magdalena. Why is everybody so patronising? This one. It's not patronising. <laughs> Step forward, please. I know, step I forward and click his heels. <laughs> give me your name. Magdalena of House Hellstein. And what is your name? Friedrich Bontanus. Captain. Ex-captain. I'm still a captain. Once a captain, always a captain. Now, has <laughs> Maven talked to him about channeling already? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. cool. Yeah. She'll do a quick run over in your head yeah. just to kind of remind you of the... Yeah. Bit of a pep talk. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever magics you think you can bring to yourself and move into the gem, please do so. Right, you are. Um, I'm still quite new to this. I've only been doing it for a couple of years. Give me a moment, but it'll come. Yeah. She'll say, um, a land or something like it. Uh, on his toe, do you think they've had lots of people claiming to be witches who just simply are? Four successes. Four successes. Just have. Oh, one time I was going down the street and someone fell over. It just must so have been me. See an elf. <laughs> Shh, concentrating. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I'm sure with the telepathy thing you can exclude people as well, right? No, no, no we, we can. can. <laughs> you can? Yeah, 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 so I will have excluded can, him yeah. from... <laughs> I it all falls quiet for a moment. And you concentrate hard, giving your best constipated face, <laughs> as there suddenly a shaft of red light spirals off up in that direction, um, and then... Um, it all collapses into wispy shades of grey. Hmm. He's come along well. Impressive. He's <laughs> um, on fire. <laughs> the door opens <clears throat> on the other side. Almost bursts open. Is a looks round and looks at you. Oh god, it's Louis! Ah, Peter Laszlo. Oh, not this guy. Peter Laszlo. <laughs> you can Peter remember, Laszlo um, <laughs> repeatedly um, came down to discuss diplomatic matters with your father. Um, he was generally perceived to be Magnus's very close friend. And there, there was the butt of many a joke at the time because they loved making jokes if they possibly could. Peter Laszlo, however, 
you and he go on pretty well, actually. Um, he uh, is entirely personable, nice, and uh, was quite different to the rest of your family, which was notorious for being up itself. <laughs> where he was generally relaxed in any environment. He was relaxed on the hunt, he was relaxed with the peasants, he was relaxed with nobility, and relaxed with royalty also. Uh, he's about your age too. Mm. As Ami comes in and goes, I heard that you were here. He says, I heard that you were here. Telepathically. Um, yeah, okay, so this guy's actually really nice, but it's kind of annoying that he's actually as personable as he is because you sort of want at least some chink in an armour. Um, <laughs> <coughs> all right. Peter, hello, yes. How are you? Lovely to see you. Louis. And he puts out his arms. Go on, give me a hug. All right. What are you doing, huh? Well, hang on, I've uh, washed the shoulders. There's a little bit of tomato. <laughs> uh, so, so you made your way through the crowds, I see. Yes, tried to. Well, we tried dispersing them. Didn't work so well. <clears throat> How are they doing? Um, he says, I heard that, um... And he just looks at him. Right, yes, of course. Uh, sorry, you, am I disturbing? You No, Peter, um, you're quite, quite right. You know this, this man, um, Elf? Uh, looks over and says... Uh, yes, we're actually quite close acquaintances. Um, the, I'm, he's the reason, well, I'm the reason he's here. Right, okay, excellent. As um, he looks up and says, you are disturbing me. He says, yes, well, that's what I'm here to do. This, this is a coup. This is good. Are you, have you been, <laughs> he says, have you heads, been, That's a loaded term. <laughs> <laughs> have you been tested yet? Has he been tested? This, this, this could change everything. All right, wait, 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 wait. Uh, number one. Is that what we're doing? Is it testing? He hasn't told us proper. <laughs> and frankly, look, you cannot trust these people. You don't understand. You see in your head as the elf says, well, why don't we just step him forward so that we can see whether this human is capable of doing anything? Laszlo, you're doing it again. And he says, oh, I'm frightfully sorry. I understand that you sometimes get a little moody, Lord Master. Moody! I do not like that word! We've discussed it before! Relax, darling. Let's just get on with it. And you silence. Oh. Whereas Fr Friedrich is going to... The anger yeah. is strong. So 63 good. successes. Oh. <laughs> you can so attempt to dispel rude. it in Let's all attempt! <laughs> no, Fried Friedrich is going to very gently propel Louis forward. <laughs> And when I say gently, I mean not at all gently. Can we team the speller? Some of one might crit. It might explode. <laughs> it might, if you want to try to fight against the elven magic coming your way. Can, can, well, can I still speak to them in their heads? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, well, that's not being the spell. I know, say, see, told you it was a dick. <laughs> As um, he's, we're, we're here to his do job. anger is Follow literally us, shaking it. on his face. As he looks at... Um, she just looks at um, him with a quirked eyebrow. Peter... Um, and uh, he says, really, well, calm down. I understand that you're upset and that you're far from home, Lawmaster. He says, my studies have been interrupted and my writing is interrupted. And now this one hasn't stepped forward. Make it step forward. Oh, oh he's, no, he's no, definitely no, stepped forward. Highness, step forward. He says, yeah. may step forward. Please remember decorum. Yes, yes, of course. He says somewhat testily. Look, of course, your royal highness, please step forward. <clears throat> you heard what I said to everybody else. Do whatever you can. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> it's a rabbit. <laughs> uh, Do channel test, yeah? Yes, channel yeah. test. Pick a card. Any card. <laughs> right, I'm imagining a big middle finger to him. <laughs> Oh! Oh! Um, I don't know. Is that a seven? It's definitely it's a fail. Oh. fail. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. shit. No, no, it's it's a fail. Fail. Yeah. So, yeah, can I spend a yeah. fortune? Of course boy? you can. Uh, uh, fort. Bump it up. One, do it that way. Um, no, that re -roll. Will that work? no, 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 we're so close to being really, really, really good. <laughs> hey! That's yes! Good. Nine! Nine, you bullshit elf! <laughs> <laughs> As um, he channels into it and the gem vibrates. Ooh. As he lifts up his hand. Hmm. I step back, Your Royal Highness. Um, oh. Oh, it save us all. It says it's another one of No dear. <laughs> Do 
you said that I know the eight went, so do I know what that is and why he might be? Pardon? Uh, no, you can't, you, you can't sense the individual parts like that. Um, you've got your own wind. And no, but I know the theory you are of the eight. the theory, yeah, but you're yeah. literally yeah. nothing beyond that. Yeah, no, that's fine. Um, as uh, he goes, well, was he successful? Yes, he was successful. Yes, he was successful. Excellent. <laughs> this is marvelous news. A big, a big meaty pat on the back. This is marvelous <laughs> news. I mean, he can be trained. He can be trained. He can be trained. Can't he? He can be trained. Well, that is not for me to decide. I'm merely testing them. He says, yes, well, he can be trained. He can, he can join the uh, ranks. He can be trained. Peter. This is good. This is good. Peter. This is very good. You sure. realize what you can do for us? <sighs> I can do whatever I can do. It doesn't matter. When will we meet Magnus? When, when do we have that conversation? Because right now, this feels like... You want to meet Magnus? Yes. Really? Yes. Oh, right. Um, That's why we're here. Yeah, I presume that was what we were going to do. You um, called us. Yeah, no. I've travelled <laughs> yes. tra- all the way from the north to speak with him. On behalf of my guild. Right, well, Royal Highness, uh, I, I imagine I can probably sort something like that for your party. I presume I haven't even... I mean, uh, um, Right, um, well, I'm, uh, uh, I'm fine. I'll go and talk to him now. He's going to be very excited to hear that you're here. Um, and we'll see what we get from that. I'll come. Uh, 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 oh. I'll send me. someone down to give you some rooms. Have you eaten? Excuse me. And uh, looks at you. Uh, yes, who are you? Uh, I'm Hannah, crowd daughter. I don't know if you heard what the Lady Von Helstein said, but she said she's here to speak to your count on behalf of her guild of wizards. Her guild of wizards. Well, no, we've already had the... De- diplomatic response from that and it was particularly foul if I do say so myself let me just say dog shit is what they sent us yeah actual dog shit that doesn't surprise me a host he says of parchments all nicely rolled up in scroll cases sealed with wax so nothing escaped oh disgusting you you, you have to admire the (laughs) endeavour yeah they can be particularly puerile so so what are you saying that you represent some secret Embassy? Uh, do you represent a secret embassy? Oh, I hadn't even considered that. Uh, Is Peter, that what you uh, represent? Peter, 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 Peter. Probably not best to have this discussion here, you know. It looks over at... Do I get tested? <laughs> yes! <laughs> in, in, in our heads, <laughs> haven't you learned that prejudice is a bad thing, Louis? <laughs> no, you're at the top. Definitely not. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, from what we just saw outside, haven't you learned that prejudice is a bad thing? That mob wants to... To turn it, tear you apart and burn you. I don't think he has. As Disappointed. Me. Disappointed. Step forward. Well, you were better goes, I'll go and speak to him and see what we can organise. Um, I'll be back. I'll send someone. I'll send some. I'll send someone. And it goes out. <sighs> please step up to the crystal, and please do whatever it is that you feel that you have to do. <laughs> Dance. <laughs> Oh, uh, fumble. I'll spend a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> nice to know. 99. Nerves. Good job. Um, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 successes. 12 successes? Shit a brick. I mean, it's not 63. Um, but it's still 12. Um, as he looks at it. You're all much better than me. <laughs> it's just practice. Yeah. And just looks at it. As the gem wisps out into nothing for a moment and then comes back again. Mentally. <laughs> <laughs> no, very good, well good. Yeah. Bravo. I was never under any doubt that we would succeed. I gathered you on for a reason. I think he's lost for words. <laughs> but you stumped him. <laughs> Oh, he's, had, he's had some kind of... Don't, don't, don't click your fingers at him! Your silence. <laughs> <laughs> With, oh, a very achievable 73 successes. <laughs> 74 successes. <laughs> <laughs> and a crit. <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <sighs> um, as he puts up his hand and he quietly fumes. Oh, he's mad. And then says in Reichspiel, stay here. 
and walks out and then flips his hand and unsilences you as he walks out. All of us. Wides off. Does he leave all of his parchments and everything? Yep. Is it written in Reichsfeld? Nope. No. <laughs> is it, it is written in Elthurine. <laughs> um, How do you it's know interesting. the language of the elves? Well, are we speaking in our head? Yeah. 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 Um, I, I was taught by my spouse, the Wolle of the Rhine. There's an elven spirit? Uh, yeah, uh, but largely. That's a good way of putting elven? it. She looks like an elf. Um, he looks like an elf. They, it looks they, like an elf. They, they are a shapeshifter, but they most commonly appear as an elf, yes. Her father is... um. His father, their father. Yes. Depends upon what form they're wearing. His grandfather, right? Just shrug. <laughs> look at this. Look at the elf. That's fascinating. Um, that's that's and, a big bit uh, of news to just drop very casually. If, um, <laughs> if they look different each time, then um, how do you know that? How do you know that it's that? What do you mean? Well, if you marry, marry someone, right. and they look different the next time you see them, like, is that my wife? No, nope, no. Nope. How many people have I looked like since you met me, Louis, darling? Two, three. Well, why would you think it would bother me? What my spouse looked like? Well, because, well, I mean, it's just... Love is love, and the heart knows the heart. All right. Very poetic. I didn't, I didn't imagine you were such a romantic. <laughs> so, so, judging by what you've got here, there's been an awful lot of not very impressive results. Um, um, and there has been an awful lot of long handwritten notes that effectively say, this is the most ridiculous um, idea we've ever had. This is not <laughs> going to work. This one's soul is completely blackened. This oh, one's tainted. I was gonna this make... one's next to gone. This one's a spy. This one's the worst. Oh, this one we might be able to do something with. We may be able to teach it a spell or two. It all the way through. There is no general understanding of your gender or no desire to follow I, your gender. Since he was taking our names, has he written names down next to those people, though? Um, okay, just yeah, every single last one. Just so them. that she can mark that for the ones that say, like, spy and black and soul and stuff. To, <laughs> yeah. Just for future reference, that might be <laughs> handy. Always good to yeah. know. Yeah. She'll say, she'll say I, I was about to make a joke, but actually this is quite grim. It, it's yeah. it's grim. Um, there is uh, uh, about 150 entries, and of those 150 entries, four of them passed his test, plus five. <laughs> I was going to say which one. Of <laughs> <laughs> which one of well, there seems to be a group of nine of us, darlings, and that's us. <laughs> they, so you know, far, so far. And it's also fair, you think, to say that comparing you to those other four is a little bit like comparing children to adults. They've not so far encountered anyone who truly understands the concept of what it is to be a wizard. No. They've either chosen not to come, they've refused to come, they've thought it was too dangerous to come. A and trap. Few, they thought it was a trap. And those that did turn up were mostly, let's sum it up with a single word, idiots. <laughs> At least that's how the elf perceives them. Mm. And it has growing increasingly more despairing throughout the course of this scroll. Mm. Oh, it's sad, really. Maybe. Maybe. No. Go ahead. Uh, we're all noble. Are you noble? Yeah. One is, of the, the, is that the oldest thing? houses of, of nobles being wizards. I mean... I mean, it seems like a frightful coincidence, right? Aren't the nobles supposed <laughs> to be... Why are you pulling them together? Yes. Yeah, yeah. The best of the bloodlines. Aren't the nobles supposed to be the heirs of Sigmar? Yeah, no. Oh, we're maybe. not supposed to be. We are. Maybe Sigmar was a wizard. Sigmar heretical? was absolutely not. <laughs> this, this one Were is, you there? <laughs> this, that that is heretical. Be... You know it. You're really Sigmar. Yeah. You know how heretical. Yeah, yeah. I'm baiting him. <laughs> but Maven's um, family wouldn't claim that. Oh no, no. Could, I, I, um, obviously, most of my spells are definitely <clears throat> ostentatious, and not subtle. Yes. Is detect? Is that also quite ostentatious, and not uh, yes. subtle? Like yeah. how ostentatious we talking? Very. I mean, you'll burn all over, and there'll be shadowy wisps coming out of it. But um, like, I won't like set fire at the room or anything. You though. might. Oh, well, okay. I won't do um, that you're aware I won't that, do that you're you're aware that you're unpredictable, volatile. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. I shan't. I shall. Imagine how upset he'd be if he burned his notes by yeah. accident. Yeah. yeah. That, that is a very good. So it's, instead, he'll just look at everything on the desk really carefully, occasionally and, licking and, his lips, but not doing anything. Round, <laughs> coming back round to our side. <clears throat> About 15 minutes later, two elves come. Ooh. The elf you spoke to before, and a woman. She's definitely a woman, because she has breasts. And it's a low-cut top that makes them relatively clear. Um, she comes in and says, So which one of them 
is the problem in L3. Which you can pass on as um, he comes in and says, well, the Vandalant, it's all of them. He says, but it's the ugliest one. And her eyes flit around and says, please do not jest. <laughs> Rude! <laughs> do you remember the thing that you were saying about prejudice? Yeah, it cuts both ways. Um, <laughs> much like a great sword. <laughs> As uh, 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 <clears throat> he goes, uh, the dark haired one. I think it's a woman. And uh, she turns to look at you. I'm acting. And so I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> if only the rest of them could do as well as you. Um, do yourself an acting role just to see how well. Um, six. Yeah, you beat her. Nine. Yeah, you beat her. Um, as uh, she looks at you and says, "Where were you trained?" Um, I, I, I was trained. Mm. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. Can you speak more slowly, please? Um. I was trained by us. I need a translator. Can somebody speak on her behalf? She was trained. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, um, um, like in my dreams by a spirit. In her dreams by a spirit. Looks <laughs> <laughs> <Spooks> again. <laughs> And she looks over at um, him and says, it would be an unlikely example of demonology. And um, she says back in um, L3, yes, given her, and looks down. The spirit had like likely. pointy ears. Tell them that. She Leave says the, the spirit was very pretty and had Look, pointy like ears, you. much like your own. Good mistress. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> Like at night time, it would come into my room and, you know. At night time, it would come into her room and, like, talk you know. To me, talk to me about <laughs> magic and stuff. Talk to her about magic. How was your day? I, exactly. How did you know? You told me. <laughs> they communed, in summary. Do you think it's one of the old ones? And um, he goes, possibly. Maybe they were bored. And looks over. It would account for some of the success. Maybe it's possessed her. <laughs> um, and uh, she says, well, it seems unlikely. I see no outward signs of it. And he goes, it wouldn't surprise me. It's very difficult to tell one thing or another with these things. And uh, she says, well, that is true. And then looks at you. Do you ever feel odd? <laughs> like perhaps your will is not your own? No. Is that a no? Uh, yes, um, that's a no. <laughs> <laughs> and then says, and we have a problem. He says, I know. You're going to have to tell him. I don't want to tell him. And he says, neither do I. Smug prick. <laughs> <laughs> he says, no need for such language. Oh, I'm just done with this place. It's filthy and it smells and I can taste their meals. They were not good. Stew. Oh, darling, Stew. perhaps you should keep your mouth closed. And he says, not enough orifice to keep closed for this place. <laughs> Send them off to him. Let him deal with them. She says, you know what he'll do? I don't care. I'm past Karen. He's the one who makes the choice anyway. Yes, well, you should be making the choices. I don't want to make the choice, he says, barking back in Elthery. She says, well, yes, you've made your opinion known. I advise, that's it. Nothing more. From and I having, record. From Maven having met elves prior, have they usually been this terse or emotional? Not for you, the ones you met. Yeah. Um, if anything, they were mostly distant and... Arrogant, perhaps, but not but this not emotional. They're, these ones are clearly yeah. caught up with something. Just, just take them away. They're going to leave this stinking here no matter what we do. And uh, she says, of course, darling. And then says out loud in Rauchspiel, 
I think it would be best if you were to come with me. There is someone who is going to want to meet at least one of you. Unless, of course, some of you would like to split and have a meal so that we can deal with you individually. No, no, telepathically. Stronger, to, <laughs> stronger together by Sigma. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. We, we stay together. We came together. It's best. Mm-hmm. She says, of course. Then come this way. <clears throat> and she makes her way out. So where have you traveled from? Individually or because we've just come t- from none. We've come from none. Well, just outside. None, really. But uh, earlier we've come from further, of course. Then where have you come from? Well, Karaberg, originally. I was a captain of the Great Swords. Karaberg. That is one of the cities on the Reich. Yes, lovely the place. Bastard. I remember it. And what about yourself? And she looks over towards you. You're tall. She's still taller. Of course she is. Mm. <coughs> I'm from the... Uh... Wizard's Guild in Middenheim, I'm representing their interests. And of course he did not tell me that. Well, he seemed very uh, convinced that I couldn't possibly be from there. By Ulrich's beard, he was such a charmer. She smiled. <laughs> I, I don't think it was the elf that was saying that. That was Laszlo. Peter, yeah. 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 And she smiles and looks at you. So you've been trained. Yes. I've been looking forward to meeting one of you, he says. And how have you found learning magics in your human school it's been fine it's been going on for generations it's i'm lord master Yertle. lovely mm. to meet you. she says call me Yertle. <coughs> and i'm magdalena i'm uh, second in command of the guild in Mittenheim. her eyes widen now it makes so much more sense yet of course you did not tell me that either i didn't tell him to be fair <laughs> we all have our secrets and how about yourself says, you have the carriage of a man who has seen war. Uh, oh, yes, I was a captain in, in the Great Swords. Um, this whole magic thing is very new to me. It's only been a couple of years. I've been trained too, though, by Maven. Excellent teacher. Ah, so you have been trained by Maven. So you have known her for long? Mm, two years. I see. So you have travelled together. <laughs> we, no. We've certainly travelled together, yes. This is... <laughs> <laughs> We've just met today. So how did you enact your teaching? If I may ask. I have a way to find and communicate with people. In fact, we're doing it right now. No, Smart. you should not have told her that. <laughs> Why would no, you honestly, that? honestly, it's best policy in this situation. We've been found out. Boy. Let's be honest. She probably knows. Fascinating. Thank you for your honesty. Okay. What is your name? Told you. Maven. Maven. Are we, are we doing so? Uh, Grunfeld. Grunfeld. I have heard of your family. They rebuffed us. Yeah, they're they're stuck in their ways. They go with the mother and their old ways and the druids. What do you recommend to bring them on side? We are told there were significant numbers, and I would like to know if that is accurate. I believe. I don't think I'm unique in, in my family. He says, this will very much disappoint Finria says with a half smile <laughs> twitching at the side of her um, lips <clears throat> I did not catch your name uh, Friedrich von Tarnas von Tarnas Tarnas I'm from the uh, the, the Westerland I have met a Tarnas before in Marienburg that makes sense and she smiles that was not more than two years ago perhaps a relative of yours almost oh, certainly hmm. interesting and smiles. Interesting. And did I hear correctly that you are of royal blood? Yes. May I ask of which household? Bob. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know what? We are greatly, greatly indebted that you should step forward and significantly increased by your presence. You will change things, I think. Magnus will be keen to talk with you. You are a representation of much of which he has hoped might be the case. Influential figures, people who can make a difference and can show that, for all that it is controversial, that perhaps he has made the correct choice, which of course he has. 
You... Well, I, there's a reason that I've gathered everyone. You do understand, though, that while <coughs> I am a Walpen, my family will not accept that the edict as it stands. It is not your family that I am concerned with. It is the influence that you yourself will be able to apply, the pressure that you will bring by your family name alone. That will change things. The Bildhofen name goes so far, but not far enough. And I fear that we may need to do some tour, some speech or something. It is fair to say that there are forces arrayed against Magnus and his preferences. Head voice. Um, does anybody else feel like we're just being used as pawns once again? I say well, once again. No, I feel like she was treating you with respect, really. But no, we we are pawns, just as soldiers are pawns in a war. Mm-hmm. They're here to <clears throat> help humanity survive what's coming. We would be useless if we had no influence. Louis, the end times are coming. And if anything, I've seen she, coming from the north. And if anything, she's suggesting you're more of an officer than a soldier. Um, General. What of yourself? Hannah Growdaughter. It's lovely to meet you. Hannah Growdaughter. In see. in our head, is now not the time for honesty? No, don't worry about no. it. This, this is her truth. <laughs> That's my truth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> he probably won't be able to not roll his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> this spirit that you spoke of. Does it have a name? Glorly. Laura Francis, of course. Now that makes sense. She chose not to return. And she has taken you as a pet. No. We are partners. I apologise. My grasp of your language is perhaps not as clear as I thought. Her father oversaw our marriage. Her father. An interesting way to put it. She says, Father, come up these stairs. She knows our language. She knows that was an insult. (laughs) (laughs) She was abandoned by your kind. Or she chose not to come with us. You could argue. Not that I was there, but it was a long time ago. Hmm. We're here. She moves her hand. The door goes slightly. She moves her hand out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like, like a hawk. Like, oh. <clears throat> and pushes it open. And um, from inside, uh, you hear an immediate, <clears throat> No, there's not any, maybe anyone coming through here. So you need to turn back? And she says, It is me. <laughs> oh, well, all right. Um, Lady, um, you, you have to... <clears throat> yes. <laughs> of course. He says as she glides through. Is he awake? Oh, I don't know. I mean, he, he was swearing at me earlier. <laughs> right. So he's in a good mood. <clears throat> tap, tap, tap. And from inside, you hear a... Yeah, who is it? It is Lady Yertle. I am here to speak with the Lawmaster. Um, I'll see. I'll see if he wants you to speak. Yeah. <laughs> You're not even going to have opened the door. Oh, I've been told not to. I see the door that she opened with the mm-hmm. glowy. Like if she's moved in, just not in her line of sight, so he doesn't look like a. You know, a stupid rube. <laughs> Absolutely going to be like touching it. Like, <laughs> seeing if you can see where the things that glowed were. Do your self perception test. Uh, yeah, passed, but no successes. Okay, there's definitely something there. You can feel the magic inside the door. Um, there's something actually there. Ooh. Um, something's being placed here. There's some form of ward, some form of thing that's definitely in there. If, if Maven's aware of him doing it, can she try and give it a go? Explain what it is. Ten successes. You failed. Ooh. What is what yeah. are we doing? Interesting. What are we doing? Getting a sense of how that door. Well, but what works. do we need to roll to do it? Because um, perception. Perception. perception test. Okay, perception. Uh, uh, five successes. Nope. You don't catch anything either. Nevertheless, she'll say this isn't what it seems. 
Who's <laughs> 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 being cryptic now? <laughs> on with this funny door <laughs> this something in it I exactly <clears throat> the door um creaks open and says um what's it about lady <laughs> and she narrows her eyes <laughs> they're blue with golden flecks through them and says say the words repeat after me Al Gluey Thalumir. Um, and you hear from behind, let them in. What does it mean? <clears throat> or is it secret El <laughs> It's not a part that you recognise yeah. out of your dialect. Mm-hmm. You can guess it's something to do with shadows. Oh, can I? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I think it's something to do um, in the inner mind. I think it's something to do with me. And smiles come from her as a backs out and says um, and bows as she glides in come follow me <clears throat> and takes you um, inside a relatively small chamber with a window that opens out onto a small balcony um, where there is an elf um, with seven bottles of empty wine <clears throat> like lounging guy. at an angle um, long hair hanging down to his um, side, <clears throat> holding in his fine fingers a cup. But this elf looks unlike any elf you've seen before. And you didn't realise that he looked different until you... Or that It's more that you didn't realise the other elves looked different until you were seeing an elf that looks like this one. Mm. Because this elf looks almost... And I'm going to really reluctantly use this word, but human. And I don't mean that the features are human. They're not. They're angular and they are alien. They are strange and they are weird looking. His eyes are quite unlike any human eyes could ever be. They're entirely solid in colour with flecks starting out of them in different directions. They look freaky weird and alien. And they're also slightly squinted. (laughs) It's not that. The texture of the skin. It has texture. Most elves don't. There's the ever so slight traceries of lines where the flesh has moved and slowly picked up a crease or two. They are the smallest. The smallest. But they are definitely there. In terms of... If you put two elves side by side, him and someone else, and you look to them for maybe 20 paces, you wouldn't see the difference because it's so subtle. But this close... In the light that's shining down into this window, the dark clouds gathering over towards the left-hand side. Um, It's almost dark. You can see the bumps on the flesh. It's not smooth. And you've grown kind of used to seeing these freaky elven hands with barely a line on it. They don't have all the lines and the whirls and everything else that we have. Their skin is somehow more elastic, made of something different. But this one does. It looks... And I, I do hesitate to use the word almost human because it's not at all appropriate because it's an elf. But it looks almost human as um, it lifts up and it says, Which one can do Algu? It says, Which one of you? I am amused. That step forward, step forward. I want to. As. Um, she in your, goes... In your head, you just say, oh, it's tits, and we're going to have to perform for everybody. No, Master, <laughs> if I may, as he turns round and says in Eltherine, no, you may not. I have no real interest in what you are going to bring to this conversation, Nerdulum. You know how I bore of your constant bickering. So please, if you would, could you step out? I wish to speak to these humans. I am interested. I'm amused. Summon Volinich. I'll say on the... I refuse. She says, I'm... summon Volinich. I wish to speak to Volinich. I wish to speak to Volinich in front of these. She, yes, Lawmaster. Yes, Lawmaster. She says... I'll say across the link, I think this one might be more royal than the rest of them. <clears throat> As um says, I wish 
you to step forward. I must admit my grasp of your language is still somewhat neophyte. I'm practicing. <coughs> um, has, has she gone? Would has, you like... Has Irtula gone? Yes. Um, Some wine. She'll say an Eltharine. And she it moves she'll say fingers and the glass just comes What's over. What's her accent like in Eltharine? Her? You've no idea. Okay. Yeah, I mean, well, you I'll literally have no idea. <laughs> um, we can speak this language. Oh, as in how do you want to portray yeah, it? Yeah. Um, yeah, her accent is high, 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 almost these and those. She's um, got an ancient version of Eltharine as her standard tub. If thou art inclined, we can converse thusly. <laughs> 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 he, he, he giggles um, and he says, um, <clears throat> Waves, you are making this entire day worthwhile. Uh, I've never seen an elf so unsteady. Uh, Symbols. Tilts its head <laughs> and says, you are linked, your minds. We when I was good. young, a mage taught me a similar spell. <laughs> Shrugs. If I listen, I might be able to hear your whispers on the side. All right, test it. Or something I am. <laughs> no, I've, I've created a link to make us be able to pass and speak our minds without having to worry about who would hear. You are the Grunfeld. You, you and I will talk. You and I will talk because we need to get the Grunfelds. In, in, in the head speak. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> Tilt. We all went. <laughs> it is a subtle spell. Which of you, it was you. Step forward in front of me. And then smiles. I should like you to form in your mind a shadow. And smiles. Ah. You speak Eltharine. Says, your form takes the words of Eltharine. <sighs> well, that is it. We must expand. The door knocks and is flung open. And a man with dark hair, silver running through it, uh, comes in and says, What do you want? You call me now, what do you want? He says, looks over. Take this, I have no time for this. Okay. I have no time for this at all. I am bored. I have been here now for weeks and I am very bored. I am so very, looks around, pretty girls. Pretty boys. All right. What do you want? I have a test <laughs> for you. <laughs> <laughs> he says, I have a test. Can you see this? <clears throat> and flicks his hand. So, we'll see what is magic. It's no matter. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm going to have to betray my word to the king. And settles down, leaning forward on the table, and says, So, um, who are you? Who is she? He says, What, she just do magic? He's nothing. He says, I know who you are. I don't care who you are just now. I want to know who this one is. Looks at her. Well. Alana Holschwig. Eyes widen. That means nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah Graudotter, then. But who are you? Well, nobody. How Just... can you do what you do? Oh, he wasn't here for the whole no. thing, was he? Uh, right, my, my partner taught me. She's a spirit. He's a spirit. And you speak Eltharine, I presume? Says... Your accent is particularly old. And then switch back to Reichspiel. Where did you learn it? Well, from... Uh, it well, is no secret that is obvious that you should give such shrugs so, as if it were clear and I should know. I know nothing here. I may have drunk some wine. He well, says, I may have drunk a lot Didn't of you wine. just tell him a moment a ago? Is he not listening? Yeah, no. their name. Oh, oh, right. He says, I have no idea what that is. No, and then drinks straight from yeah. a bottle um, and put, pops it down. That might be our answer. <laughs> yeah, the ear tiller knows them. 
Oh. Who's this man? Uh, this is Volinich. He's a pain. He's <coughs> marvellous. Does the name mean anything to anyone? Nope. <clears throat> nope, never heard of him. He he's is the, he's the reason that we're all here. Accents? You're thinking Eastern, probably Kislevite, perhaps? Maybe Aust... That would make sense. Land, possibly. As he goes, yet is not so. He says, I just tell them there is trouble. And then they send Peter. And now I am here. And now they know that I can see the magic <clears throat> and they are not so happy. What, what kind of trouble? Well, Kislev is falling. Mm-hmm. He's not so good. Kislev really? should not be falling. No. Ruin his powers? <sighs> Call him what you will, I don't care. So, uh, you have come for edict. Mm. We've come to be wizards. Speak for yourself. I'm already one. Well, I. You are already one. He says as he lurches back slightly and pulls himself straight again <laughs> and says, How? Because in Middenheim we practice magic. We have a guild. Eyes widen. Wizards. Oh, you're, you're from Middenheim. Yes. They wouldn't send anyone. They've sent you. I've sent myself. I should sober up. <laughs> really? <laughs> you says, really should. <laughs> this is this is important. Have you been fed? No. Or waters? Uh, no. Then or no given rooms or anything. Then Volnich, very poor hospitality. As Volnich says, yet uh, is not my job. He says, I will speak to Magnus. He says, I will talk to Magnus, and Magnus he can organize it. Excellent. It's very kind of you. Excellent. Um. After dinner, we can perhaps talk properly. He says, perhaps. Uh, and then he straightens up and stead- unsteadily gets to his feet. <sighs> He's relatively short for an elf. <laughs> About 6'5". Oh, shorter shrimp. than you. Yeah, same size as <laughs> yeah. me. Yeah. Shorter than me, that's but weird. shorter than the rest. <coughs> and his hair looks almost <coughs> greasy and lank now that he stood up instead of the normal, lovely, <laughs> diaphanous, silken, floaty <laughs> hair that you're used to. But no, as he leans up and says, I bid thee welcome to Nalm. Witches. And that is the term you use, yes? Wizards. That's the term that they use. And what do you use? Well, my family would say druid. I would say, um, elementalist. I'm a captain. (laughs) (laughs) I quite frankly do not care. (laughs) He's a crop. (laughs) Your species is a source of constant joy. Uh, Volinich, go. I will go. (laughs) <laughs> he says, and um, opens up um, the door. You are as well to come. Yes, we'll get you some food. Excellent. And you are led down to a large kitchen where you are plied food and left your own devices for a good break. Oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> in the room. Before we head back into the old world one more time, I'm going to pass over to the absolutely wonderful and of course beautiful Lindsay Law. Hi. Oh, to me. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to say thank you for all your support. We have been quite overwhelmed by the amount of people that have shown up for the streams and have made all the memes. So please, oh, <laughs> right. Right. Um, if you would like to um, continue to support us, please share us anywhere, subscribe and like us, please. We're Just desperate. Please, <laughs> like <us>. please <laughs> like us. Thank you. Back to you. 
Uh, they were a much, uh, they were a much. It's back in the room. So, we left it with them getting down for some tasty, tasty grub. As they're getting a nice spread put out for them down in the kitchens, Peter, Peter Laszlo, uh, comes in um, with a smile on his face as he settles in beside you, looks around the table, grabs a piece of bread, breaks it up, and uh, grabs a bowl of soup and just starts dunking in and says, so I really didn't expect to see you uh, it's really good to see you again, old boy. I mean, it, I mean you pretty much never leave <clears throat> the old Barfenschloss. Well, uh, I mean, yes, obviously. So, uh, are you asking why I'm here, or is you just... No, well, it's on? obvious why you're here. I just never expected you to actually come. I'll, I'll be honest. Well, um, <clears throat> is that good? It's actually not too bad. All right, fine, I'll have a bit of that. No. Uh, you, uh, when a voice starts basically turning up and talking in your head... You sort of go, well, either I can stay here and just have a voice in my head for a long time, or I can follow that voice well, and... I, for one, am bloody glad that you're here, because between the two of us, this has been a giant, well, shit show. Yes. I mean, it just... We had expectations, we had hopes, we had... But it's, it's just gone wrong, everything's gone wrong. Um, all we've managed to get out of this is riots, attacks... A declaration of war from the bloody Prince of Altdorf? Mm hmm Well, I mean... An actual declaration of war for saying that witches, <coughs> you... who are just people like anybody else, like your good self... Mm hmm But you, you have to understand that, that the way things stand, witches will not be accepted in the Empire. Well, that's why we're going to change the way things stand, Louis. Is yes. that the whole Scrooge, <clears throat> the Prince of Altdorf, that are causing the bother? Everybody. Uh, they're, they're, it's actually really. I mean, I, I've spoken. I, I was up there just uh, what two months ago, and I was speaking to Sigismund. And we sat down and we had a lovely discussion about this potential, what we were thinking of doing. And he wasn't close-minded to the idea. At least that's how it appeared. Turns out he could not have been more. Hmm. Less up front, actually, would be a better way of putting it. He was... <clears throat> and I was hoping that we'd at least got a good response from the Wolf Emperors. Uh, I'm very glad to see that you're here. But I'm somewhat less glad to hear that from what I gather from Ertler, um She would have been delighted to hear me say that, by the way. Uh, <laughs> that um, that uh, you're possibly not here with official dispensation. Let us just say not everybody is as close-minded, but I am fairly senior, so I lead the way in certain ways. I bet they're not close-minded though, are they, up there? No. They just want to keep you up for themselves. They've got an advantage and they want to keep it. Yes, the, the, the wolf emperors themselves would really rather not share. They're like children with their toys. And the thing is, though, what's common doesn't really care about borders you know, who's, exactly. Who's, who's, who's ruling exactly. this place. They don't see the bigger picture. You've seen, yeah, you, yeah. you've, you've heard my, my call. Yeah. And I can only apologise for the uh, way in which they. Turned delighted you down. to meet you, by the way. Lovely to meet you. Yeah, they're delighted to yes. meet you. Um, uh, 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 big me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> says, oh, very good. Yeah. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, we're. I'll, I'll admit being quite disappointed by the whole affair. I mean, we, I was with um, Magnus when we first heard call that things were going rather difficultly up in Kislev and that we were not in any position to make any sort of rallying effort, so to speak. I mean, the Empire it doesn't exist anymore. It's broken. It's completely fractured into a thousand different pieces and they're all warring with each other. So we weren't in a place to actually do anything. Null is on the other side of the world from Kislev. And there's a thousand quite different people between us and it, all of whom would pretty much stymie any attempt to send an army across their lands. So we were somewhat stuck. Um, he suggested that I went out to um, old allies, and I, 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 I toured around a few places. And when we were down in Marienburg, actually, that... Well, I still a griffin. <laughs> Yeah. Like a real life griffin. Yeah, I flew to Elfland. I'm not even joking. We, we need more details. Yeah. <laughs> well, Do you see, tell. How why does one steal a griffin? <laughs> well, you see, I was down there speaking to um, the emperor because he was down in Bessemer. 
Um, and um, well, we were in Marienburg, and um, I, I I knew the Griffin well. Uh, and um, what are you? <laughs> you were in a book group together? Uh, 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 basis. Yes. Um, no, actually, um, it, uh, I helped train it. Ah. And um, oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, well, I was down there, and um, I was thinking back to what Magnus has said. And, uh, he was somewhat nonplussed by the whole affair. He thought it was all quite beyond us. And um, I was growing somewhat disenchanted with the conversations that I was having. They were clearly going nowhere. So I thought, well, well I could speak to the elves. And uh, Magnus didn't tell me I couldn't. <laughs> In fact, I, I argued, particularly when I returned, that he told me that I could. Um, uh, so I decided that I would. So I, I, I flew to Arthur with I, I stole uh, the griffin. Um, <laughs> I didn't steal it. I mean, I've ridden it before, several times. It wasn't that hard. Uh, so, uh, theft is a harsh term for what I did. It would borrowed. be better to say that I borrowed it for about a month. So, but isn't it like a really long way? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, poor, poor beast was almost dead in its wings when we were uh, uh, about, uh, um, not more than about halfway. Fortunately, it was the damnedest thing, actually. Um, we must, I don't know how far away we were, but um, we were, I'll admit it was a foolish thing to do. I didn't even <laughs> take enough food with me. Um, I was somewhat starving, realised as I was going along that I had to shit off the side of the bloody thing. Um, you, don't, you don't think of that when you set off on a large journey. You just think, this is going to be fine. Then you're like, oh, I'm going to have to, what, piss off the side? The, the, the Griffin's not going to be very happy. Then go with, back. Um, but pardon? You can always land and then... On the sea. Yeah. No, yeah. no, no, they sink. Griffin's floor, no? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not so well, as it turns well, out. Well, um, well, um, well, yeah. um, you most, know what? Most animals floor. I'm going to say no, but I'm also going to say I don't actually know, <laughs> um, because we didn't stop. Um, bloody bird, uh, obviously this shit, wherever it wanted to, because it was flying, obviously. Um, so... Uh, 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 uh Well, uh, go, go quite. So, uh, <laughs> there I was... <laughs> Making my way over, and then these eagles came from nowhere. Four of them came from nowhere, and, and we were flagging. To begin with, we'd been quite high, but we were kind of low, and the waves were looking more and more like they were going to hit us each time. And I was like, I'm so going to die out here. This was the most <laughs> foolish thing I've ever done in my life, and I feel really, really stupid. And it was Magnus's idea. <laughs> it wasn't, but I am going to tell it that it was, for pretty, maybe from now onwards. <laughs> it, it was Magnus's idea. So Magnus um, had told me to come here. I had no choice, obviously. So uh, uh, these eagles came in and damn this thing. Griffin's sitting there looking by the side like they're threatening it or something. And suddenly he just swooped up. Just swooped up. Eagles guided us there. And it felt like it was maybe a day or two and we, we were there. Almost no time at all. Not quite convinced what happened, but I got there, and so there I was in the capital of the elves, speaking to elves about impending doom. And as it turned out, they were already on a war footing. Indeed, as it turned out, they were about to go to war to their north for exactly the same reasons. Um, so after much deliberation, they decided that they could spare a very small number of academics. <laughs> uh, that turns out to be wizards, so actually useful. But uh, three academics and their uh, and, and, and um, uh, our bodyguards, uh, so to speak. And uh, so they came over. They gave me a ship, which was good. Um, they let me take. I, I had to beg, but they let me take the Griffin home. Um, they were saying things that I couldn't understand, but I'm quite convinced they were unimpressed with how I had treated it. I think possibly because there was definitely. Feces. Yes, you pooed on the griffin. Yeah, I, 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 that's not the language I would have used. Pooed on the griffin. Um, but, but, but it wasn't ideal. Um, I really wish I'd thought it through a little. I just didn't realise how far it was going to be. You see, I'd heard word of traders that had made their way across and back. I'd heard word of a balloon that had flown over there from the dwarves. And I thought it couldn't be that far. One week into it, I was regretting everything that I'd ever done in my life. And I was starving. But uh, uh, we came back. It's only um, easier to poo out the side of a balloon than a griffin, then. Um, or in a bucket, on the balloon or something. <laughs> or a trap door. That, that, yes, quite. Uh, so, um, that was that. I returned. Um, Does a dwarf shit in a balloon? <laughs> a single ship. <laughs> Sorry. 
A single ship, sadly. That's all we got. But it is was it at a least... big ship? Pardon? Is it a big ship? Was <laughs> no, it's a transport ship. It, is, oh. it was to transport our, oh, okay. our academics and, and their the bodyguards. Um, quite. Um, I didn't actually realise when they said it was just going to be academics, and then when they came in, it was Peter. like this little host of twenty of them with their swords. Peter, like, that's not like any academic you... I've seen in my life. Peter, oh yes. What is the nature of the deal that has been made with the with these elves that are here? Oh well, they came and they were quite convinced that we were going to lose. Uh, no other way of putting it. They couldn't think of any way that we would be able to make a significant impact. Mm. Um, so uh, it it was. Um, uh, Teclas who made the suggestion that we trained up um, our wizards because uh, he thought that that would be able to provide some sort of decent um, support um, and uh, we didn't actually expect what we got in return. I mean we should have really. I mean I'd spoken to so many people and they'd all been oh no that makes sense but the actual reality of it has been riots uh War in the streets in some places. Um, uh, we uh, Nuln's population has almost doubled. We've just had people from all over the empire coming here to yeah. cause a fuss. It's a corrupting influence. I've seen it. It's not just a corrupting if, influence, my if friend. We don't band together, and with the elves' help, we will fail. <sighs> no, the end like times the elves. are coming upon us, and they are coming from Kislev. <laughs> you do sound like the elves. You do sound like the elves. Yes, Why it, is it, that? I've seen it. He sees stuff. Yes, she, she sees stuff. <laughs> she sees stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> but why? This is what happens. This is the world. This no, no, no. Why do you see stuff? Oh, I, I have visions that show me the future, show me important moments, and just as I found you. <clears throat> why I, do I make things pass in flame? I think it might be magic. <laughs> Are you saying he's a witch? You're, you're <laughs> actually <laughs> fucking hilarious. Uh, <laughs> if I do say so myself, I, I, I quite appreciate your humour. Um, well, you know, I'm a mummer in my uh, day job. <laughs> oh, uh, where, how, have I seen you play somewhere? Uh, uh, Rainier Stark at your service. Uh, I saw Rainier Stark in Algol. Well, then you saw me. Pardon? You saw me. Do the thing we on, do the other one. Yeah. <laughs> he'll he'll love it. Um, one. Oh yeah. No wait, I'll have to channel. <laughs> oh wait a minute. Like Old <laughs> drum roll. Yeah. I think that'll do it. Hey! <laughs> As your entire form shifts, you are now a man in his late thirties <laughs> with dark hair and a moustache with a cheeky wink in your eye. A really a star, casual service. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really my voice, but I love it. <laughs> Take your hand. I shook your hand. And you have to show. Uh, you have no recollection of this. But you did shake a lot of hands. Well, I shake a lot of hands on account of how popular I am. Who would have thought? Well, you see, that, that is exactly what Tekla said. He said that our, our lands were proliferated um, with a host of hidden witches that we couldn't see. And he said that he could see them around and that he thought that if they were trained and they were brought and channeled and used, turned into weapons, uh, rather than just cast aside or murdered or burned or otherwise removed from being <clears throat> useful, that uh, we might actually stand a chance. I mean, that's after all how the elves do it. But, or something. Out of character question. Yes. So this lasts for successive days, but can I stop you can, it? You can <laughs> <laughs> no, you have a mustache now. I have a mustache. Because I'm not that. keeping this accent It'll up. take you a second roll, though. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I'll bum, 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 bum. <laughs> It, it occurs to me that a lot of your problems are because you actively have a religion which proselytizes against magic. Well, can you're saying you that like the... it's not something that's obvious. Yeah, but could, can you not bring the cigarettes round? No. Get them on side? Turns out, no. <coughs> Turns out, no. That's a little bit like, I mean, um, you, you might be separated from all this and have been separated rather than some time, but the cult down here is just having none of it. Have you thought about converting to Ulrich? That's, uh, there's no conversion <laughs> to be had. That's not, not how it works. As a, I think we all know that people time, are what the people do. It's, it's fear. They're afraid. Yeah. Afraid of us because we have power that they don't have. 
they don't understand. No, 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 no. They're, they're, it's that you draw your power from the dark gods. That's what they're afraid of. It's not that you're. No, a, I don't think. I don't think it is. I uh, think no, no. That's what the priest is saying in the street every day. Yeah. That, yes. that the ruinous <laughs> powers are manifesting themselves through the uh, Magnus-driven uh, edict, Peter, Peter, magic, and Peter, such like. Peter, yes, yes, yes. you strike me as someone who understands that what someone says and what someone thinks and feels are not necessarily the same. Well, yes, that much is certainly have you, true. Have you been on a battlefield? Sadly, yes. The first time you were on a battlefield and you saw a, a division march towards you, how did you feel? Um, not good, I think it would be fair to say. Uh, there's a certain amount of youthful bravado until they got close. Yeah. <laughs> and then that youthful bravado turned into, our reckons are really big. Hmm. First time I pissed myself. I don't mind saying it. Second time, I had this and I knew how to use it and I had 300 men behind me. I didn't piss myself. It's power and it's fear. Well, as we all know, politics at its very core is nothing more than the distribution of power in one direction or another. And this is just a political manoeuvre. And sadly, that was exactly how we approached this. We, we, we were just too um, brash, I suppose. Too brash, I think that would probably be the best way of putting it. But that's what I'm saying. What if this, there should be more to this plan, right? Like, what if it's not just us that are trained? What if we find a way to, I don't know, empower other people who aren't witches like us? What do you mean? I mean, that door we saw, mm -hmm. right? They put magic in that door and it became secure, better, safer, stronger. If you can take the magic that we use and you can put it in things, oh, then being someone who's utilitarian who, about it. Someone you mean who, like like Thigmar's hammer you were seeing before. Yes. Or like or the you, ring fan. Like you'll, you'll take you'll take you'll take your sword off and, and like place it down like like this. Now I I can uh channel uh my my feelings into it and I can cause flame to burst along it and it's Jolly good show, looks very impressive, hurts like a bugger when you hit people with it. But what if there was a way to let someone who wasn't me just do that without needing to use the magic? I'm pretty sure that the elves can do that sort of thing. Mm. So if we could give some of the ordinary people out there, or not the ordinary people, the, the nobles, the leaders, the obviously, lesser folk, obviously, <laughs> but the people who aren't witches, well then suddenly we're not mm. so scary because they're armed as well, and we're standing with them, yes, and they're on the same footing as us. We're going to rely on the dwarves. So exactly. basically what you're saying is we need some wizard swords and some victories. Yes, although not necessarily wizard swords. We need magic swords Look, for non-wizards to wield. I'm honest. Madness has been a bit depressed. <laughs> He's not been frightfully happy about how this has all turned out. Um, he had such glorious ideas, admittedly, they were not mostly his. They were foisted upon him by others. I, of course, he ordered me to alter it. Um, and, of course, it was Volinich who uh, passed on the information in the first place. But he's done the best that he can with the current circumstances. Um, uh, he's, he's unfortunately taken up a lover lately, which has not been... <laughs> like, what motivates him? Like, of all the people... like you, People are coming around all the time saying, oh, there's bad stuff happening in Kislev, or you should see the state of Tilia these days, right? But what was it that made Magnus believe Volinich and decide that he had to do something? Volinich is quite persuasive when he wants to be. Right. Um, it was all very uh, apocalyptic, end-of-world sort of thing. Um, uh, and then... Uh, yeah, he was the one that suggested. If I'm honest, he was the one that told me I should speak to the house. If I'm, if I'm absolutely honest, it was very much his idea. He came to me and he said, you know, if you can get them on side, then possibly you'll be able to express to him exactly just how dangerous everything is, because they'll tell him in no uncertain terms how dangerous it is. Uh, and, and, and they did, actually. Um, but it's been some time now, and I think it's fair to say that they've sort of given up. But they're ill. Yes, they're, they're quite convinced that it's a fool's errand now. But but you've changed things around, if, I, if I'm honest. Yes, I mean, you're, 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 uh, if it hadn't been for... Yeah. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, well, was that yourself? He said, Let's well, not celebrate my lady, so my this. lady, I would like to um, uh, offer you my heartfelt thanks for bringing these marvellous people to us, because if it hadn't been for you, I think this whole endeavour would almost certainly have collapsed. They would have removed the edict eventually. Well, the job's not done yet. Um... No, but the battle's not won, but uh, now there are people as, who fight. As, oh, sorry, hang on. What no. was his name? Te 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 Teclis. Teclis. 
he says there'll, there'll be families needed and the, the old families there's a lot more he has a problem talent. Uh, he mm -hmm. he needs certain herbs and he's run out so he's relying on alcohol to keep uh, something that uh, ails him at bay <sighs> which is not ideal but he has chosen apparently to uh, sober himself up which is going to be difficult can um, his people not get the herbs that he needs um apparently they don't grow here no as in they can travel no not that fast it's quite distant apparently it was like poor planning not to bring the relevant supplies it wasn't poor planning it was sabotage <sighs> Paul Paul mm. who can say we don't know does all the entire supply was destroyed to win the elves don't want us to win the elves don't want us to win. Yes. The elves don't want us to win. <laughs> Surely not. Do you not. understand? <laughs> you send someone over, <coughs> the elves would then cut off a piece yeah. of whatever I think, it is. I, th I, th I think we like, say that at least uh, one elf might not Yeah, like, that's like saying not the humans don't like no, cheese. No, 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 I think it's fair. He doesn't I think like cheese. He, he's, I think he's making a fair point. Many on the streets are saying exactly the same thing, that the elves were the ones who were behind this particular edict. Many on the street are also saying, burn the witches. The other thing well, that's what, the, oh, the, that's that's what our history has been for crimes. a very long time. I see what you mean. You're so, also... That the elves are responsible for the uh, turmoil. All oh, right. And also, we are... We're not, we did not come here to be warriors or, or to, to fight. We came here, you are, yes, obviously, <laughs> right? But that was your profession beforehand. We came here because we were given an edict to say, you're safe. Not have this, you were going to train you to then go and fight. That was but, not what was put but, out. But if we're safe, right? I think perhaps you should have read the edict a bit more closely. But, but, but if we're safe... <laughs> I, say so no, it says. I feel like um, I was if clear. You the word of it, I'm sorry to say that it does but, almost but, say exactly that. But maybe the well, prince's fight <laughs> is to win hearts and minds <laughs> of people. You you are the royal representatives of Sigmar. You said, and if you can be well, a wizard... What I was thinking when I saw you. And you, of all the people it's all right for you to do this, then you can tell people it's all right. You can get out there. You can bring people to the cause. You can gather people. Have you tried the wine? Yeah, he tries the wine all the time. It's, it's very good. I, that was a pun. Love it. Cheers. Cheers. Was it? I think it was just a rhyme, wasn't it? No. No. No, sir. No. Wine. Oh, you like to wine. It to <laughs> You're right, it ruins it. It, it ruins, ruins it. it. Sorry. He'll Apologize. think about it, it'll come to him. You know what he's like. Well, we'll hear that, so. <laughs> <laughs> wine, wine, wine. <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, <sighs> yes, I talked to Magnus. Um, and he's willing to chat later, actually. He's quite keen to talk to you, actually. Right. Um, uh, in fact, he's quite happy with the whole thing, but he doesn't want to talk about it all until Teclas has confirmed that you are actually what uh, Finria claims that you might be. So he wants me to be a figurehead. Well, isn't that not what everyone wants him to be? I mean, that's what he is. Yeah, that's quite. I mean, let's not be too precious about this. As that, that's largely what we are as nobles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? As, as, you know, as a captain, no, like, I just like sure, I can cut people in two with this massive sword. I just want to be clear about what my requirements are, why I'm here, what well, is needed. I, I've, I found your story quite compelling. I hadn't heard it before, and that is, and I never thought about it like this, that Sigmar was a worshipper of Ulrich. And the Ulrichans have had wizards forever. So as a royal representative of, of Sigmar, maybe that's the message you should be taking. That this is the way that Sigmar did it. That's how Sigmar won with all that. the might of his people. Didn't work. Oh, right. No, no. The uh, arch lector uh, uh, burned an effigy of Magnus in the uh, square, right. um, <laughs> and uh, uh, he had um, uh, books coming out of his mouth because he didn't say. Apparently, he was spewing nonsense, and right. they thought that burning books was a good way of showing that. The cult has lost its way. Hmm. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't say that to them, but it has been difficult. Right, I think it's also a matter of making sure that it's not out there willy-nilly. It's controlled. It's... <clears throat> oh, yeah, um, I mean, you uh, need training. Messenger I'm yeah, running proof of that. Says, my lord, my lord! <clears throat> and he turned around. I imagine other lords mean you also. Hello, um, As uh, He says, um, uh, 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 I have spit it out. Um, it's uh, spit it out. Karaberg's been assaulted. <gasps> By who? 
<laughs> he says. Pat, 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 give, give it here. Looks at you. Red lad. Don't David, look at me, I was with you all guys. All attack on Karabag. Why? <laughs> Bosses. Well, I, one presumes because all of the Sigmarite priests are down here that would normally be defending them. And so they've taken the opportunity to try and take out Karabag again. I mean, historically speaking, it's Drakfold, it's not Middenland, no matter what they claim. Don't Again, look the, at en- me. the enemy is trying to separate us. I'm looking at I'm it. looking at you because you're what a Hellstein? Are they important? Hellsteins are very important um, up north. Yes. Tremendously, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> yes, they are. Have you got any sway with this wolf emperor? <clears throat> they like you, fighting. Your family, <clears throat> yes. You know. Yeah, my fa- my family can put in a word, but ultimately, I'm an academic in their eyes. I'm not right there. Well, we know how useless they are, apparently. <laughs> apparently. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, Ulrich, it's about the fight. It's about war. If we're not going to war, what's the point of us? Well, can you get them to go to war, you know, like, east? Yeah, show them that there's a bigger war to be mm. won. Well, I can use my influence to, a, to an extent, but maybe, ultimately... Like, maybe he'd have more success there. Here's a question uh, for you. I'm going to have to uh, come back. Oh, this no, is, um, actually, it was more for you, Peter. One um, second. Uh, quickly. Just because... something that I'm sure you may have pondered. Why not, for lack of a better term, why not let <coughs> Middenland attack properly? Because presumably your wizards train for combat. Oh, yeah. Right. I and mean, if we're talking about a weapon against a weapon, as you've suggested, then what's more scarier than a load of big northern blokes who can basically throw icicles and blow stuff up. How else do you combat that? You go, okay, witches are fine now. No, you, <laughs> so you go, oh no, it. witches are terrifying and scary. Yes, exactly. So you've seen them. So so how else can somebody come round to it? If you let Midland... By making them not feel afraid. By making them feel empowered by us. That's what we need to do. I think you could probably go now. Just I think I will. something to... He says... We've I, been debating this for months. I think I will. Uh... <laughs> I'll talk to you very soon. Um, you will almost certainly be receiving some word from one of the law masters. They will want to confirm that you are what you say you are one more time, so that Magnus is not left in a difficult position, assuming one thing when it's actually another. But uh, if it is what it is, then it is what it is. Um, I'm dithering. I'll go. <laughs> and off he goes. Really, to your point, if it was purely just magic that won wars, well, Middleland would rule all of the Empire. Mm. But it's not, it's people. Magic may have a hand, and if we band together, it, it will stand humanity in a better space. But it's not just about the magic, it's about the, getting the people on side. Mm-hmm. Well, yes, that is a fair point. And, and ultimately, everybody should have access to it in the same way. It exists everywhere. It seems odd that it's allowed in some places and not in others. Mm, if we controlled it, trained it, much in the way that we do in the north, it would at least become eventually part of the scenery. But what do you mean in terms of everyone should have access? If you have the talent, you should have right. access to the train. But the blood will tell. It's not that it's yeah. everyone has access, un- unlike Friedrich, who maybe... Came upon but it later. If, seemingly. If, if people are able to heal with magic, then make it available to people who need healing. On when she had said that about Friedrich, she will attempt to go blood walk again just to see if you can get a sense mm-hmm, of his family. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, success. So this is on Friedrich. Yeah. Um, so um, it runs back. Five and successes. It's the grandmother. Um, you can see the strong blood there from the grandmother. Um, another wasteland line, the horsemen's, um, and it's strong, exceedingly strong in the horseman line, um, and uh, that's from the wasteland. Oh, sorry, Westerland. West. Get the correct timing. Um, and his grandmother is where the magics come from. Um, his grandmother, you can feel it, was a secret witch. Running back on that side, whoo, and right back, unbroken line of witches. She will share that and say, it runs in your family, there might be others, but yeah. did you know your grandmother well? Uh, uh, which one, the Tarnas or the Nixer? Which one? Um, 
Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that's the mother of the Nixer. That one. Oh. Interesting. As I said, just your grandmother Nixa, you hadn't even yeah. considered it. There's a... That once she had her own name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how could that possibly be true? It does. It seems, <laughs> in my experience and, you know, from, from being around a while, the blood will tell. People will have magic once in their family, it will appear again. It's natural, like anything else. The <clears> trick <throat> is to tap into it and use it in a controlled way so you don't set fire to things as you've learned. Well, don't set fire inadvertently to things. Oh, yeah, setting fire to things is Choose perfectly okay. What you set fire to. Exactly. I once made the boy's pants disappear. <laughs> Magically, or? Uh, I, <laughs> just, I just like. It was not long after the Jam Roly Ponies, and it was just like we were at wrong. It was bad. I, I think maybe not only have you taught me magic, I think she's been teaching you mummery. <laughs> I guess maybe I'm picking up on something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it remains to be seen if she's a good influence or not. <laughs> boy servant um, boy comes servant. in, a boy servant, and, and sort of half curtsy bows and says, I've been sent to pick you all up. Good luck with that. I, I've got to... Uh, We're pretty heavy. Uh, 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 what? Uh, just Continue, boy. Right, right. Mm -hmm. I've, been, I've been sent to uh, pick you all up and take you to the law master. All right. There's, do you want to come? Yes. yes. Lead, on. Lead on. Lead on. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> is on is this Teclas that he's calling us? Loremaster? I think they were all Loremaster. Lore that's yeah. what I, I thought I heard them all say Loremaster, no? Mm -hmm. Is there Loremaster? Lore 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 which one are you taking to us to? The drum? The one with the wine. The one with the what? Wine. The wine? Yes. I don't know. Blue, blue don't eyes. Just lead on, boy. Lead on. Come on. It's fine. Go, go. Come on, show us where right, we're going. Right, right sir. <laughs> God bless him. <laughs> you speak the, the LV. The lingo. Right. Yes, darling. I, do. <laughs> yeah. I always wondered about, about my mother's name. And it's a, a Danary? It, it, it's a, it's a bally strange name. No one else would bless them. It's just a northern name. A Danary. Yeah, I've heard it several times. He spelled a Danarid. In terms of his it's not Elvish. No, not at all. That's reasonably common. It's not. No. No. I thought that. Neck of the woods. Yeah. I thought. It's I thought. Northern, right? Yeah. Oh. yeah. I thought it might be something to do with. Sadly, all this. <laughs> One of my mates is called a Danarid. Oh, maybe named her. Well, well, that was my point. If it's grandmother Nixa, that's that's mm -hmm. my mother's mm -hmm. mother. Great. The magic is strong in the north. Danarid. I understand family trees. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> You understand how prop I like, can you get the word out? So let's just move on swiftly so that I don't look too foolish. Oh no, I'm talking about it. Um, <laughs> okay, it's, say, it's, hey, say your name. It's, it's happening! And what's your name? <laughs> Travel <laughs> boys! <laughs> Carry on. Thank you very much. <clears throat> you are left outside a door. Um where uh he goes, Maybe just wait right here? Yeah, you, you, you'll be um, summoned, and then knocks once, and says, right, and then off he goes. Can I look at the door and see if it's got magic in it? Do you subtest it? <laughs> Are you going to scrutinise no. every door? <laughs> um, unless, well, unless I'm chill. <laughs> um, um, no. 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 no, 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 no. I cannot see anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing. As <clears throat> there's a pause. And um, Eltherine, um on the inside um, calls out uh, relatively quietly, but loud enough that you can catch it because you've got very sharp ears. <laughs> <laughs> you sneaky little sneaky face, um, which you can, if you wish, translate across the uh, private network that you have. <laughs> as um, you hear, <clears throat> and then we're going to have to teach them all the elemental winds. And on the other side, well, there's no point in debating it. That's just what we're going to have to do. We've got confirmation that not only can Volinich see it, but they can actually cast it. I don't want to teach them all the elemental winds. We're going to have to. But I don't want to. You can't trust humanity with Olgu. You just can't. It's the wind of deception. They will use it against us. And uh, the reply... Yes, and they will also use it against our enemies. 
Yes, but they won't. They don't have this willpower to deal with it. It is the magic of minds. It will destroy them from within. The power that they will have will be greater than any king, greater than any count. They will be able to do whatever they wish. Any deed that they wish to enact. She seemed fine. Was replied, oh, please. One individual does not speak to the species. It is our corrupt species. Fine and come find me. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the reply is, well, you have to make do with what you have. And who's to say that the ingredients won't combine and create a rather marvellous cake? Comes reply, oh, my goodness, Ertula. You are just an apologist. He says, I, think I like to hungry. take the <laughs> middle line. I take neither extreme. All right, so we know which Lawmaster wants us, old Finraya. Should we just knock again? No. There's a pause. Finraya doesn't want us. Is that not him through there? And then um, Yurdle wants us. It, no. Tetlas wants us. Finraya doesn't care. <gasps> oh, just talks to us. Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, she, she's in the middle. And they hear <gasps> They are so impatient! He says, um, poof, you're silenced again. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't say anything. Whoa, maybe not. I only have 14 successes. If anyone has that, we can all do it. Let's all do it. Yes. Can we collectively have a go? Hey, first you got it. Nine successes. (laughs) Wow. Zero successes. Oh, sorry. 10 10 successes. 10, 11. uh, I I passed, but with no successes. That's 12. I passed uh, with with only one success. 13? It's not quite enough. Language magic plus one. Yeah, no, that is with plus one. Oh, right. You get the highest one, and everyone else adds plus one. Yes, I'm just giving Yeah, yeah, totally. So it's not quite enough. It's close. Abby? Yes. Nine successes. So I got 10. You got 10. So that's a bang on. Bang on! As boom. We work together. So we work together. We showed them our potential. So, so I knock again. No, they would have instantly known that we've done yeah, that. Yeah, we felt yeah. that. Yeah. Um, there's a pause. That's a sarcastic knock this time. There's a pause, sir. <laughs> I don't like their arrogance. They're already fighting against us. We should quit. Um, says um, one. And the other one says, We <clears throat> should be more careful. No, I think I am done. They have shown their metal. And it is found to be impatient, incapable of just waiting more than a minute or two. We cannot give them magic. I am making my... I, I cannot. I am speaking to the Lawmaster now. And you hear, I don't think he will be receptive. I care little. The Phoenix King said that I could step forward if I wished. And I wish. I am done with Teclas and his... Oh, God. I called him Teclas. Um... He says, perhaps you should, I am, I'll admit, angry. There's a pause. And she says, perhaps you should show patience. (laughs) (laughs) Touche. It's not about calming down. (laughs) There's a pause. Erta. Your words tax me. He says, well, perhaps if you were a little younger. She says, lighter in your approach. It has been some time since you were at the White Tower. I prefer its halls to this stink. You are upset. She says, how long has it been? They will all pause. I will let you deal. And a literal bang from the door. <laughs> and a go from inside. And in our head. <laughs> <laughs> and then in Reichspiel, you may come in. <clears throat> um, she is um, sitting down. She stands as uh, you come in uh, and says, please take yourself a seat. Settle down. I have some questions for you concerning your preference. She says, we are intending to go to war one way or another. We intend to strike northwards to strike a blow into the heart of the twelfth breath. 
In Arrowheads. Twelve breath. <laughs> no, no, no. Just don't show any ignorance. <laughs> show no weakness. All <laughs> <laughs> All over his face. Huh? <laughs> she smiles. The twelfth breath of the world. <clears throat> Our world moves in cycles. From beginning to end. From beginning to end. And at each end, there is sent a champion. The twelfth breath is coming. The twelfth champion. And it seeks to end the world. And this time, it is going to come, we believe, through Kislev. Previously, it went through different routes. Sometimes from the south and sometimes from the north. But this time, it is coming through Kislev. And we intend to strike hard. Which leads me to ask you a question. Do you intend to strike hard also? We wouldn't be here if that wasn't the case. Well, that is not the case for all of you. She looks at you. What, what is your... What do you want to know? Well, I think I made my position relatively clear. Perhaps I have, <coughs> again, misused your language. Will you fight for humanity against the greatest enemy? No. You are somewhat limited in your scope. Will you fight for the world? Again, the scope is limited. Will Everything. For well, that is all that the ruinous powers seek, the dissolution of all things. They are entropy made manifest. They are maddened. And what do you say, sir? <clears throat> Look. If things considered, I would prefer to speak to Magnus first before making my decision. She nods. Yes. That is not a no. That being the case, we must see if you are what you claim you are. There is a very simple test that we can do. It does nothing more than show potential. We use it for our <coughs> children to see if they have any magical abilities. Most of us do. Almost all, in fact. There is not a single child amongst us who doesn't learn some petty cantrip, some little trick that they can do. We are a magical people. You are also perhaps burgeoningly powerful, but most certainly moving into some form of new experience, whatever that may mean. And this particular trick has shown that it is not entirely accurate when it comes to you, but it is accurate enough for us to at least understand. Finriere is not pleased with what you represent because you represent everything that Teclis claimed could be the case. <clears throat> he intended to return come the morrow. And we ruined that for him by turning up. Yes, your timing is impeccable. <laughs> I don't feel too sorry for him. He intended to travel north to midnight and offer his services there. Well, we can travel together if he wants to do that. Well, no. He's staying. He will be staying if you prove to be exactly what you claim you are. Mm -hmm. And <coughs> we will be staying as well. That's fine. Well, let us see. And she pulls out 20 crystals that form a great, almost rainbow, of different colours laid out before you. And she puts out her hand, and they all glow ever so slightly as she twists her hands around. And this is a very simple process. All you need to do is look into the heart, into the centre, 
and concentrate. Think with all of your passion, with all of your heart, with all of your hatred, with your love, and of course, and you should have none of that, with all of your emptiness. Let it eke out of you into the middle. She smiles. Interesting. Well, this is interesting. Smiles. Normally, there would be a dominant one, and there would be a shift already, but there is not, so I would request that you stop. I would request that you step forward, for you are trained and you should hopefully be able to focus <coughs> yourself with a clarity that might not come from others. I will do my best for you. So that being the case, I would like you to do a simple intuition test. Intuition? Okay. One success. One success, um, uh, a storm blasts out orange. Hmm. Smiles. Hmm. That shows that you have strong um, abilities to influence the soul, hmm. to influence the spirit of others. It shows much more besides, but I think that is a good starting place. This particular magic is cold and heartless. It speaks to a savagery that lies in the very centre of all things, and it lies in the very centre of yourself. Your savagery is given shape. It is given form. You might as well have just described the North. You understand us all. Hmm. I doubt that. I doubt that significantly. The gem goes out. <clears throat> There it is cleansed. Please, try. Um, <laughs> <laughs> difficulty four, I'm sorry to say. Oh, intuition? Yes, intuition. Oh. Difficulty four. Unlikely! Good one. Yeah. Um, unless it's... Can I, am I taking my time? Um, yeah, you can take your time. In, in which case, yeah, uh, six successes. Sweet. Mm, nice. Um, there's a... a, a a period of time that passes <laughs> and, and, and there is a small bit of you that thinks that something's going to squeeze out of him he's concentrating so hard <laughs> yeah. or, or possibly he'll burst into flames <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's, there's, a, a, then, there's a vein and then on almost his suddenly um, uh, a gem bl blushes up with grey swirling smoke pooling out of it and then another one drowns it out entirely at the side in red. Mm -hmm. hmm. And that is an unexpected result. Let us be quite clear. Your species is not known for its ability to easily harness such clarity as has been shown. This is more expected, but not so strong on two. I would have expected a just spread, which would require focus, but instead not the case for yourself. What you may have missed is this. A point down towards a golden yellow gem. Mm. You cannot see that, can you? I noticed you didn't even look at it. It is glowing the strongest of them all. It lies underneath everything that you were doing. It is beyond your sight. Your eyes are quite human. But this one, it shows that you have a methodology. <laughs> Methodol. <laughs> Methodol. <laughs> a methodological. <laughs> methodological. Methodological. I can no one can say it now. <laughs> that word. Methodical. 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 Thank you. <laughs> oh, step by step. Man, we get there in the end. <laughs> a methodical <laughs> approach to how you perceive. And you are very strongly attached to this. It speaks to passion, anger, destruction. And a need to consume. It came upon me on the battlefield. Mm. This does not surprise me. And this is now where I draw a certain level of trepidation. And I must ask you to please try your hardest. Intuition? Yep, intuition. And your one's difficulty six. 
I brought a two percent chance <laughs> of this happening. Good take, luck. Take your oh, time. Plus, take your time, baby. Yeah, yeah, Twenty-two percent. Well. No rush. Yeah. No rush, Louis. Come on. All right. Mm, just breathe. Uh, fucking elves. Fucking elves. Fucking elves. <laughs> 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 No, you don't. Zero, zero. Completely. <laughs> 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 uh, I spent a fortune. Yeah, go for it. Mm. The gems explode. <laughs> <laughs> Laceration. Picking bits oh. of oh. things. Oh. oh, that means you get to roll again. Yeah, critical. Uh, Very crit. Yeah. So, crit. Yeah. crit. Roll again so for the extra crit. successes. Holy shit balls. Oh. Ten. 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 Ten to fifteen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so there we go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fish bash bosh. Nice. Good job. Mm-hmm. No problem. <laughs> That was a bullshit. <clears throat> it sits there and nothing happens for some significant length of time. And just as you're reaching the point where you're like, yeah, this is bullshit, just as I was expecting, suddenly one lights up with pure white. She blinks. I did not expect to see it actually manifesting. She looks at you. Ooh. There is only one among us who has managed to do that. I say us because I consider everyone that has succeeded to be one of us. And that is Volanich. Yet somehow. Yet somehow. You are possibly the most powerful of them all. Another big meaty slap on the shoulder. <laughs> 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 that well, well, breaks his concentration. Uh, yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> As so, it um, fades out, and she looks at you. Please try. Well, I'll try. Mm. Two successes. Two successes. <laughs> I love the fact you didn't tell the Ulga one what her difficulty was. <laughs> <laughs> Noted. Um, I can spend a fortune point make it three. Yeah, go for it. Sure. You have loads of them after I can all. spend a number of fortune <laughs> points. How many, how many does it need to be? I'll keep spending my fortune points. <laughs> yeah, she has a lot of fortune points. Wow, yeah. yeah. Um, as a, a rising misty light begins to... Ra- uh, pick up from exactly the same one that was um, showing, but much more faintly than on Tarnus there. As um, she nods, your clarity on such an opaque and difficult magic is to your... And she shakes her head. Let us simply say I am surprised. It suggests training of some time. It is not too bright. It is shadowy. It is light. Dim. A powerful expression. A very powerful expression. And its clarity. Note no other gem. None of them are even touched. Your teacher. Your master. Should be proud. And you will be teaching others to do this. Do you understand? The secrets that your mind contains will be shared. You are unlike these others. There is a muddiness that lies elsewhere, but you have a clarity and an understanding that will be shared. Do you understand? She'll say enough to me. I understand thee, mistress. She says back in Elthereen. An odd tone. You sound like my grandfather. (laughs) And she pulls back. Then let us find if the ringleader is true to type. Hey, ringleader, do you (laughs) test? Eight successes. Holy shit balls. Nice. Um, it flickers. A green one goes up. A red one goes up. Uh, over there, an orange one flares up high. Over there, a pink one pings. Over on that side, deep teal colour blazes brightly. Uh, she, she looks at it. Pretty. Mm-hmm. How old are Pretty you? Sure. How long have you been using your magics? 
as as long as I can remember. How old are you? Um, I think like two hundred three years old. Oh, <laughs> she says. Oh, well, that would account for that. I was expecting fifty. <laughs> <laughs> really? I told you I come from a long line of druids. We we age slower. Like, I'm older. Than <laughs> I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm older than I look too. I'm like eighty. Well, <laughs> I'm not that surprised that you're older than you look, given you change how you look all the time. <laughs> I am surprised that you're that old. Not a problem. Just an observation. Surprised. Yeah. And this isn't some kind of spell. This no. is just how I look. You just aged very well, may I say, Maven. I am quite bemused. This in a good way or a bad way? That's beyond my expectation. I am also amused. <laughs> she says, this in, perhaps in is head, going to work. Are you seamused? <laughs> <laughs> so glad someone else did that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning mummery too. <laughs> if you go two more down that line, you'd be emused. <laughs> which I'm told is some sort of bird. <laughs> And she <laughs> This is perhaps not the fool's errand I believed it to be. This is good news. She says hmm. I should like to meditate upon this. I shall pass on the news. I will have you taken away. Um to somewhere you can be comfortable. <laughs> Important context. <laughs> she says, as she just sits back, folds her legs, and floats, and closes her eyes. Nice Wish track. I could meditate. Mm. Yeah, if yeah. I could, can you do that? <laughs> as um, no. she just sits there. Head, head chat. Uh, do we the door opens. Hello. <laughs> I'm looking somewhat confused. I, I, I think I'm supposed to take you down to the withdrawing room. Yes, please. Yes. Uh, right, I'll, I'll take you to the um, build off in chamber. Yes. Right. And take you down a set of steps, down another set of steps, um, a long open uh, walkway where you can see down into a large hall where there are people almost arguing um, over various maps down there. <laughs> um, past that, uh, over another hall, which is mostly empty, and then into a sumptuous chamber that is quite clearly designed to receive royalty and people of substance. Would you uh, like any refreshments or are you happy just... Um, uh, wine? Yeah. No. Um, no. Something smaller yet harsher. Brandy. <clears throat> brandy is a good shout. Can we get plum brandy? Oh. And you are given the alcohols that you require. And also left your own devices for a, a little bit of time if there's anything that you would like to cover before you are fetched again. Like well, 200, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I did wonder if anyone was going to make yeah, it. Just, and, and Friedrich is going to be doing his level best to get everybody as drunk as possible. <laughs> because this is a momentous occasion. There, there's a certain point when you just kind of stop counting. Does it matter? Like if you were, you said you were 80? Well, something like that. You kind of forget. You just go on. <laughs> I haven't counted. Can't help yourself. I love it. <laughs> love it. I'm sure some of the wizards in Middenheim are, are old. Are they? Not that you're aware of. You're one of the oldest. Mm, no, I'm, I'm considered very senior. And how old are you? I'm 50. That's strange. Mm. I just assumed that it was part of you being magic. <laughs> mm. I would have assumed as well, but... Here we are. Maybe there are different ways of channeling it. I'm fascinated to know what we might learn. Apparently I've got to teach other people. What's that all about? I feel like we all have to teach other people. Mm -hmm. Door open. I don't want to do that. She did. definitely um, didn't say that. And she without definitely. any ceremony, um, Volinich comes in and with a half smile on his face as he comes over and flounces down into one of the chairs. Bernie! And he says, No. <clears throat> um, and looks over. You have caused quite the stir, which is good, because no longer am I focus of everything. You know, it's good. <clears throat> that is all. He says, thought I would come. Say hello. How old are you? We were just comparing our ages. Don't just uh, ask the question. 
Oh, right, okay, <laughs> hang on. Um, <laughs> so we were just comparing our ages, and it turns out that she's like really old. It doesn't no. matter. Isn't that weird? She's and then, age marvellous. And then I was thinking, I mean, you've got you've got the like really distinguished silver streaks in your hair. No, so I, I'm fifty. Fifty. All oh, right. It's mm. a great age. I'm fifty-two, fifty-three. Do not know <clears throat> where I am like from. Hollywood age kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> I am twenty-five. <laughs> where I am from, you know, uh, witches are not. Uh, they are not allowed. Uh, well, men are not allowed. So. But women are. A matriarchy. Which is, Interesting. The, what do they do with the men? Get out of hand. Dream. Right? Uh, why? I have asked a question many times. Always told the same thing, huh? Men cannot be trusted with magic. <laughs> hmm? Too angry. <coughs> Too, too, too warlike, and that is what they say. <laughs> make mistakes, make foolish errors, get tempted by power. Huh? <clears throat> where, where somehow, you know, all, all, all the ice witches who are in power, they are not so tempted by power. <laughs> Rolls his eyes. Um, interesting. And you call them witches? No. no it's, 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 it's word we use. <laughs> no. Yeah. No? What do you mean by... But See? maybe he doesn't. Maybe in their language, it, it's not like it's maybe a different word. It might be. He a... just translated it to <coughs> words. No, no. I, mm. I, I moved down to Borderlands. I have been living there. Do you? Do you have uh, wizards? Mm, me? Yet? No. Uh, in <laughs> uh, uh, in Kislev. Um, yet. No. So they are just witches. No. Well, their word for us. Yeah. Well, I'm just finding out if they have a word for wizard. Oh, do you have a word ah, for wizard? Duh. Uh, duh. Right. Uh, it, it, it translates mostly as very bad man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not true, but that is how it's used. I'll huh? take that. <laughs> like a warlock. Mm, yet, and, uh, that is more um, uh, northward. We may need to invent our own terminology. But like warlock, like mm. warlock, it means like oathbreaker. Word breaker. Smiles. You know language, duh? Who taught you? What do you mean? Who taught me? Who taught you language? Oh. Like, what? Reichspiel? Mama? But who taught you what means? Where did it come from? Oh, my... My spouse. She's married to a spirit. <laughs> it, is, it, is like, it is like going to stone and saying, Bleed! Bleed! Just bleed! You must bleed now! And stone, what does stone say? Stone says, it's no matter. I know bleed. Bleed! Um, they're like a water spirit. Ah. I am not so sure I have learned more. <laughs> Like, what they can shapeshift. They're not like they're not like a man or woman. They're just you know themselves. Also, Tahar Eltharin. She can speak with the elves. Is that true? It's Aye, true. it's true. <laughs> well, that is interesting. He says, <clears throat> "I have learned a word or two of Eltharin when I was in uh, Borderlands." Hmm. He says, "I lived in Kipris." Please. Mm. It's ancient, ancient city. Older than Empire. <clears throat> I liked it. Then I come here. Because I hear. It's fine, you know. Yeah. It's not so true. I came here because I hear word from Motherland. Huh? Of the invasion mm. of... Dead friends. Dead friends. I'm sorry for your loss. Mm. Shall we drink to them? To their memory? Mm. Yeah, they are dead. There's we, no matter. We don't do that here. Right? <laughs> he says, are <laughs> dead. And then takes a drink. <laughs> to the dead. Perhaps we should drink to us. <clears throat> to All right. the future. Yes. To the future. To the future. That we're definitely going to have. <clears throat> yeah. We're going to make. Gonna write a book about us one day. <laughs> a question. <laughs> <laughs>
Saw it in a vision. <laughs> Have question. Did they do uh, gem thing? Um, I did not do this. Yes. Uh, well, did Why you not? not? Yeah. They seem to think that. Yeah, they literally might have done it. Did you just pretend? No. How did you know <laughs> to bring up the gem thing in the first place? Because, because I thought it. they would do it to you, and I wanted to know if they did. No, they did it to him, but he like made an illusion or something, so they thought it was happening, but it wasn't. Yeah, I just happened. did not push too hard there. Yeah? Oh right, you played yourself down. Oh. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, almost, yeah, it's a I didn't put any effort at all. Yeah, so I absolutely ate it. <laughs> well, but they think you're amazing. Shrugs, he's no matter. They tell, they, they talk of different magic. It's just all magic, huh? It's all the same thing. To them, it's mm-hmm. not. To them, it is different. That, to me, is not. not I see yes. it for all of it. It is what it is. They seem to like categorizing things and putting people in well, boxes. To, to use an analogy, maybe uh, Friedrich would know, a weapon is a weapon, but a sword is different than an axe. Or it's like a waterfall. You're in the river having a lovely time splashing about with your friends, and then you look up at the waterfall and you see a rainbow. Where did it come from? And where does it go? What? Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the elves see the rainbow, maybe, and he sees where it comes from right. and where it goes. And hmm. we just see the waterfall. Well, no, maybe. Uh, we see a vertical Don't chase the him. waterfall. <laughs> no, uh, Do you see a different waterfall? <laughs> no, I see a rainbow. Oh. <laughs> you, you get it, right? Yeah. <laughs> he says. I think. Maven will look at your glass. Just. Yeah. I, th- yeah. I think perhaps what you're trying to say is metaphor. they see the whole rainbow, but maybe we only see part of the rainbow. No, no, no. But I'm sure, <laughs> that wasn't what I was trying to say. But there's a tap, tap, tap on the door, and the boy comes in, and says, um, um, "I need to pick up uh, um, Master Volinich." Mm-hmm. Duh. Cool. Mm-hmm. Who wants me? He says, "Is." No matter, always call. Oh, come here. Oh, come there. He says. And you will be seen. <coughs> right. <clears throat> that boy does a lot of heavy lifting. He does. <laughs> well, if it happens to be um, Magnus, could you ask him if we could meet him? Hmm. Oh. oh, thank you. It's all of four minutes later when the boy comes in and says, um, you've been summoned to an audience. Uh, I'm to take you to the antechamber of the audience. Uh, I- I- that's all right? Of course. It's uh, Thank uh, you. If you come this way, your Royal Highness Ho- party ship. <laughs> While Quite we're right. walking, because we have this kind of moment, mm-hmm. uh, Maven, and this is going telepathically, just so we're not overheard, mm-hmm. with Louis, you will need to answer the question if you're willing to, to fight. Sigmar made the choice. Surely his heir would make the choice as well. No, that's correct. And I'm answering the question in the way that I see fit. Well, of course. You're a prince. Which is? What was the answer? Well, I want to know... I want to speak to Magnus. I, w- I want to know that this this is not just puppeteers. But you understand that whether it is puppeteers or not, if you don't do it, everything ends, right? Well, maybe, maybe he goes his own way and makes his own army. There's, He's there's a prince. no mm. own way. His father's a king. There's one way that we come out of this, and that's by everyone staying together. Yes, but he he wants to gauge the man that we will be following. It seems if, reasonable. If, if you just wait here, he says, no. um, no, yes, um uh, this is the antechamber. Um, uh, it's a, a room of much finery, fluted columns to either side, uh, large tapestry up against one wall, um, showing, according to it, its classical wording at the bottom, the uh, destruction of the foul forces that invaded from Sylvania. It doesn't give a date. But apparently, it did involve a very big sword being wielded by this very big man who is much bigger than those tiny little undead things that he is stomping 
Like they are nothing. My I kind wonder, of <laughs> arts. I wonder, could, Al- could Alana decide, like, in a few years' time after we've beaten the Chaos Word, oh, of course. To, to write a letter to Maven telling her that we did it? She's no. just deciding right now she's going to do it. Interesting um, uh, line of thought. Um, as you all sit down there, sitting inside the uh, antechamber, and again, you're on the outside of a conversation that's going on in the next room. <clears throat> look, look, I understand. You can hear. But I'm somewhat done with it all. It would be just easier if we just repeal it. And I understand what you're saying, but I would like to counter with that stupid. <laughs> Ridiculously stupid. You have already made significant inroads, and look, we are making successful strides forward in what is otherwise a febrile situation. Yes, look, 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 you're talking words, but look, again, listen to me, tech list. Listen to me. There's fire in the streets. He says, there's actual fire in the streets. And that's because I passed a law which said that witches were, well, bally. I said that the witches were fine, and they're not, quite clearly, quite obviously, they're not. I mean, of all the ones that we've come, we've had to actually kill, what, 15 of them? Because they were so severely tainted. Um, The remainder of them, you largely put in quarantine because they're such a mess. We've got, what, uh, 11 successful candidates at most? Look. You're focusing on numbers, when what you should be focusing upon instead is the overall success that we're making. Your people are, let us say, hmm, what is the correct word? There's a pause. I know the word that I want to use. (laughs) There's another pause. Just bloody say, well, your people are chaotic. (laughs) They're a bit up and they're a bit down, is what I'm trying to tell you, my lord. And we are going to have extremes. And what I am most excited to tell you is that we have had some successful extremes finally arrive. And it is time for you... Well, look, I've met one of these extremes already. And if I'm honest, he's he's a bit of a... Well, you know, he's a bit up himself. <laughs> he says. And return, look, my lord. I understand that you are finding this difficult, but you must press on. <sighs> my father told me that I should... Always keep Sigma's interests at the center of every single decision I make. And I like to think that that's what I do. I like to think that that's who I am. And that's what I like to think. But now, I find myself second-guessing this this magic edict that I, I'm now considering may have been pressured upon me. He says, there was no pressure put upon you. As I recall, it was your idea. No, it was Wallenich's idea. It was not my idea. And the more I think about it, the less convinced I am that it was a good idea. If we wish to rally together humanity, we'd be better with the support of the cult of Sigma. We do not have the support of the cult of Sigma. Techless, this is foolishness. There's a pause. <clears throat> Comes a reply. Oh, excuse me. I am still without my herbs. He says, give me a moment to collect myself. Oh, don't start, he says. The whole thing's a bloody act with you. We both know it. He says, I don't know what makes you think that. Perhaps it's because I have some experience with people who are quite convinced that they understand the complete and entire nature of all things. But what do you mean by that? that you do not understand the difficulty that you're in. Oh, I don't care. He says, I actually don't care. You, you are telling me that, 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 no, no, I think, no. Uh, perhaps we could consider a redraft of the edict. I, I would like you to consider that and what that would mean. It would mean we have to move on because we cannot ally with someone who cannot allow us to do the work we need to do. Oh, right, so it's a threat. I see. So that's what it is. It's a bloody threat. Should have known it was a threat. That's what it was at heart. All at all, wasn't it? No. Well, 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 explain yourself. I, and there's a... Hello. 
you are shouting. You know that they are waiting for you outside. The what? Oh, shit. Ah, uh, ah. <laughs> uh, what? Do you think they heard any of that? No. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Bugger. <laughs> that's, a, that's actually a bit embarrassing. That's actually a bit embarrassing. Teclis, can we perhaps... Could you do something? Um, can you do some of your the, magic? Do you think that Magnus and Teclis are, you know, at it? Do you think that's the lover he took? <clears throat> and uh, mm. Tegla says, well, no. Nothing's problematic. And let us be honest, this is probably best that they're aware of your true intentions. And he says, oh, God, oh, oh, no, well, no, Tegla. God, no. As Verena stands there as my witness, I did not want to. I mean, this is personal private thoughts. This is, you know, private time. Volinich, what do you think? And Volinich says, Sounds like you want private time. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> no! He says, no! Oh, <coughs> God, this is turned the way. No, they're, they're still out there. Oh, right. Uh, uh, um, uh, I'm going to go sit on my throne. <laughs> he says, as if that'll somehow <laughs> fix him. <laughs> uh, do summon them in. <laughs> Door opens up. Volinich is there and says, Rather quietly, you may not know this, but he is ready to receive you. <laughs> <laughs> we will work Please, do come in. Take doors. Teclis is standing over towards the side. His back is straight. He doesn't show any of the wobbliness that he had before. Perhaps it was an act. Perhaps Magnus is correct in this. One thing is certain, he looks somewhat determined. As he looks over the... Mm, it would be unfair to call this a throne room by your standards. You would prefer to call this maybe a petty receiving chamber? Yeah, and where's the, hallway number one? <laughs> with a little chair to sit in? <laughs> really? <laughs> um, That's not a throne. That, <laughs> yeah, <you're still. laughs> yeah, you, you are relatively unimpressed as he sits up there. He has a monocle sitting on um, one eye. Um, as he looks out um, over you and... Um, uh, says, oh, it's so good to see you again. As if obviously he hasn't been <coughs> spouting off about things um, in your direction. Uh, how are you, Your Royal Highness? He's a Your Royal Highness also. Very good. Uh, very well, Your Royal Highness, and I'll do a bow. I um, yeah, bow absolutely. the right thing to do here. <clears throat> um, <coughs> um, I couldn't help... I lost my voice then a moment ago. <laughs> I couldn't help... Well, it was quite loud then, and... I couldn't help but hear that maybe you have questioned your way and your thought. Um, I bring something to show that, that you know, I point to my big Sigma symbol here, that, that even though... We call that symbol. We call it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We say something. <laughs> <laughs> call it. God. Lindsay Law, <laughs> mind out the gutter. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> watch that back. <laughs> that that uh, uh, um, Sigma, and as a royal representative of Sigma, he looks will you. support this. He says, "Yes." No, Magnus. I is, I have um, something. A, a surprisingly attractive man. Um, uh, you would guess in his thirties at this point in his life. Um, but these he's, days, who he's going tell? almost as, he's <laughs> going bald across the top, but his hair is shorn right down on all sides, so it doesn't show so, so he's much. Chosen, yeah, he's yeah. chosen, yeah, exactly yeah. chosen um, to look this way. Um, he's dressed in red and gold. Um, as uh, he leans forward and says, "So you have a gift? Um, is it from yourself or from your father?" Um, it is. It is a token from the family. Oh. He uh, says, as you reach in, uh, Volinich. <clears throat> Volinich says, um, I'm no nothing. He's no nothing. He says, Right, oh, I see. Interesting. Well, what do we have? Uh, pull out a little golden chest. Mm. I guess yeah, yeah, so it's, it's a square cube, actually. A box. Sure. Um, um, there's like uh, some griffins on yeah, top griffins of it. Griffins carved on all sides. Mm -hmm. Yeah, excellent. Um, and uh, I gold. just pop the lid. You want it right down um, in front. All right, fine. Uh, I'll put it in front of him. As um, he looks down, <coughs> what exactly is it? Pop the lid. So, um, 
<laughs> You're suspicious. Um, <laughs> Which um, is... So on the inside, there is um, what appears to be a globe with mm-hmm. a large triangular symbol on the top. All right. Uh, you have made some mistakes. Too many. This is wrong. I'm going to step in <laughs> front of him. Which is never be accepted. Fuck you. For Sigma. <laughs> no, I, I would, it, it, attempted to step in and hit him with a sword at that point. So That's I okay. Know. It's open. That's all that matters. Damn it. It blows up. No! It blows up. A warp stone bomb. That's unfortunate. Yeah, it's a real bad time. To take out the heretics that dare stand against what is right in the Empire. To take out the witches. To take out those who would say that witches are fine. I mean, what's next? Mutants? (laughs) (laughs) Do we have time to do anything? Surely we get. You do have time to do one thing. Like in, in terms of when he's walking up and what he's kind of going through, he's going to have a hard time masking that from a telepathic link. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can maybe get an intuition. I'm going to walk up. Yeah. <laughs> and I, and I, like, I was... Yeah. No. no. I mean, I was like moving as soon as I put the box down. Yeah, we're, 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 we're both waiting. waiting. Yeah, we're like... <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally a god. He believes, and perhaps rightly, that a god works through his acts. He is, after all, blessed by the gods. He mm. has no magic. Speaking of... Um, I'll spend my fate point to survive this. And if anyone else has one, they might want to spend yeah. it right now. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Can, can I then see if he can survive me hitting him with a sword? Is no. That, no. You're out. Can <laughs> with my one action, could I cast a spell? No. Oh, if you wish to try and cast a spell, yes. Mm. What? Um, bridge. You're going to try and pull yourself out of there. Yeah. Oh, Love nice. It. Mm. Um. Reroll. <laughs> um, it's a relatively five, high. Six successes. And you need. And I need six successes. One person gets out. No. <laughs> six success targets. Six success <gasps> targets. Six people get out. Unfortunately, the explosion is bigger than your spell range. Mm. Oh, that's a biggie. It is a biggie. It takes out this room. It takes out this wing. Ooh. The entirety of the left side of the castle goes. Come modern times, this will be where the Kleiner Palace is. The small new build castle that got built later. But at this point, it is gone. Eradicated in a great boiling fire of green. Thanks. Not escaping honest. Ah, I don't know what you mean, no such thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Boom. Fortunately, we do have fate points and they express mm-hmm. in different ways. Unfortunately, you don't know how they express because only one person writes the journal. Her. <laughs> and the conclusion to that particular one was the man was obviously a traitor. And who would ever have thought that he would one day become the patriarch of one of the orders? And that is where that particular story what? concludes. Mm. Quite. So, so, a, so, a warp stone bomb. Mm. <laughs> what, uh, yeah, I mean, when you say patriarch of one of the orders. Yes. Mm-hmm. As in, in the colleges of magic. Mm-hmm. You become patriarch of one of the colleges of magic is nice. the conclusion that's sitting in there. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Quite. The blower upper of things. Maybe you shouldn't have spent that fate. What's most life. interesting about this <laughs> from now as we, we lift oh, up. Oh shit. <laughs> Sorry, the big bit of that just dropped in my yeah. head. Yeah. Which is what? Yeah. Uh, I said maybe he shouldn't have spent the fate yeah, point to survive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the and the and the and from Elric's perspective, this is fascinating because there is no record of this knowledge <coughs> that yeah. he's ever heard of. No record of what was apparently one of the Friedrich. patriarchs. Frederick von Tarnas was the Not first. Friedrich. Friedrich. Frederick von oh. Tarnas. It was Frederick von Tarnas or Friedrich von Tarnas was the very first patriarch yeah. of the Bright Order. That you know. Yeah. But none of the other names. Or, or the Maven, of course. But, uh, yeah, quite. Yeah. Um, you know Maven because, well, she, but she didn't knows become a matriarch or anything similar. If anything, she withdrew from the colleges afterwards. She was there for the war and then she returned back to the forest. Can you we... know that because she's your grandma. 
And we knew, do know an Alana of House Holshwick. <laughs> you do. A grey wizard who's also featured inside the core rule book. Um, inside Ooh. the very first letter you find in that book. <clears throat> oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, well, it's almost like it. Um, it's it's what purpose. we prepared so, earlier. <laughs> so that's the story. And why is it interesting? Because it had someone who's the spit of you in it. Mm -hmm. It also had, there, there she is. Um, it also had, rather interestingly, um, a reference to what it was like back there with the witches. Now, is this true? Is this story what happened? You can't be certain. Mm -hmm. What you can be certain of is that it was recorded by someone who claimed to come from the Middenheim Colleges. Um, and someone who claimed to have been there right at the very beginning. True or not? It's of particular interest to Birdie as well, because she's thinking back to her brother, mm -hmm. who wore a locket, yep. and Emmanuel Nacht, and called her Magdalena. Yes, he did. And she oh. was the spitter. <laughs> also, also... Well um, remembered. Also, <laughs> Cora Breath's mum, um, when I... When, um, Alamenawai described Cramond, called him Volinich. Mm -hmm. And there isn't a Volinich in... But there is a Volins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The first patriarch of the Light Order. The first supreme patriarch of the Colleges of Magic. But there isn't a Volinich, but, but there is in the, this story. From what you know, mm -hmm. he, he wasn't Kislevite. Um, you've read some of the letters of um, Volins, and they're a bit dry. Um, but the letters from Volans to the colleges, as he was effectively laying out what would become not just the structure of the colleges, but what would be the goal of the colleges, the whole point of it. Um, and he makes reference to coming from the borderlands, not being but, Kislevite. But he, uh, he, he did come from In the book, he said he was <laughs> in the borderlands. <laughs> so this is quite an interesting little journal, really, realistically. We should probably keep well, this. Well spotted. Right. Mm. Mm. So... Yes. This is where we then go. How well did we do on our individual little thing? So, if you're just well, interested in the story, <laughs> if you're only interested in the story, you can clear out right at this point. But we're going to continue on to see how well they did and see if anyone manages to secure a fate point out of this. Mm. So, let us make our way around so. the table. So, first, he has three things sitting on his sheet for Maven to see. Um, we can all choose Four, one. technically. Well, the, the, but only the three count um, for um, picking it out. Yeah, yeah so three so pieces of information rather than Everybody three. choose yeah. one, which could just be write down um, something like, I don't know. Go ahead. And the same is for Lindsay, three. The same is for... Sorry, this is f things one, that we had to say or, or words that we had to say. Like information we had to share. Yeah, yeah everyone had three pieces of information that they had to say. Yeah. So, uh, let's see if we pick them out. Do so one for each person. One you for write each person. Write one for each person. Oh. Um, and just to remind you all out there, um, everybody had three pieces of information to share. They had one thing that they had to say. We'll get on to saying what those things are in a moment. They also had one secret mission, and they're going to be getting XP if they manage to successfully do all of those things through the course of the mission. Um, if they didn't do so well through the course of this particular session, then we will... <laughs> just see knows, I don't know. Um, then they will get fewer XP. Um, so if anyone's uh, ready, I'm not going to give you more oh, than man. a few minutes to pull on. Yep. If you're saying out there in the comment lands, if anyone has uh, decided, just see if you throw in some comments, tell me what you think they were um, asked to say. I'd be interested in seeing, mm. I am saying that, no looking on phones, when it was suddenly going, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, we still got an idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll no cover, giving them hints, but I yeah. Can't cover I can't, I can't, I can't yeah. write fast enough. Mm. Um, I got it, I got it all. Mm. Okay, and, I'm ready to go. and their mission. <clears throat> What do you think their mission was? Uh, oh, yeah, Jesus. All right, well, you supposed to write all that down, Andy. That's a lot to write down. I know. In time pressure. I know. It's, it's horrendous. I'm a bad, bad yeah, man. your students feel, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I do my writing test open-ended. <laughs> um, I, I feel like I should look for some armour to destroy right now. Um, <laughs> got none left. We've already destroyed it all. What about Friedrich? Yeah. <laughs> he sadly had none. He had magic armour that he could summon up. Fiery that, armor. That's your answer. He can't destroy magic armor. Well, I got holy armor, but it's not very good. Um, oh. um, everyone ready yet? No. 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 Almost. Oh. Almost. Yeah. Almost. Yep. One down. You get ten XP for being first. Oh, flipping eight. So I've got uh, to make a little list of how many <coughs> XP you get because we're going to forget. I should also say I gave myself ten XP for catching that moth the other week. Just so you know. <laughs> did you? Yeah, that <laughs> was very nice of you. But I. <laughs> I, I approve, because that was a full Gandalf situation. Yeah. Okay. Um, anyone else? 
Done. Done. Yeah. Get yourself uh, an extra five XP. Yep. I mean, I've written done no too. idea for one of them. I'll give you five XP as well. Thank you. That leaves uh, Lindsay and Andy. That's it. Cover your work, Andy. Don't let anyone copy. <laughs> I, mean, I, don't, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Very good. Okay, well done. Right, so yeah. first, let's start with... Maven. You want to read my, okay, my so, guesses? Okay, um, so, no, let's um, have everybody do... Oh, no, we'll do your ones because you'll get the XP. So, yeah, so what are your guesses for everybody? Okay. Um, Things to see. And missions. Friedrich had to tell, tell us that he pissed himself in his first battle. Good one. I wish. <laughs> uh, no idea what his mission was. Good. Um, Alana talking about jam roly polies. Jam roly polies. Uh, and talking about the river spirit, shared info on the spirit as well. River spirit, nice one. Yeah. Um, I thought we were only like one. No. No, the mission. The mission. Oh, the mission. The mission, the mission. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Magdalena. So jam roly polies was to share that she was second in charge of the guild. Mm -hmm. Nothing for the mission. Nothing for the mission. Good. And for. Uh, Louis, bloody elves, um, and his mission was clearly to blow everybody up. Blow everyone up! <laughs> okay, before we move, uh, show them all, what did you um, come up with? Dan had to share that it was true that the bad stuff was coming from Kislev for, Kislev for the end of times. Okay, coming. end of times. Um, Ed had to share that we can't trust elves. Mm -hmm. Andy had to share about um, I wouldn't, that his cap he'd killed his captain. And Kath had to share that Ulrich, like, there were w wizards in Middenheim in the service because of Ulrich, because oh. Sigmar worshipped Ulrich, and it was like the service of... Yeah, it was like, it. Oh, like it. And what about missions? Um, missions. Um, so I think Dan just had to, like, make sure that we got to the elves and proved ourselves to the elves. Okay, good. Um, he had to blow shit up. Oh, blow shit up. <laughs> um, he had to pledge allegiance to Magnus. Pledge allegiance to Magnus. And you had to offer the support of your... Nice one. College. What do you think, Ed? Um, so, <clears throat> for Maven, exactly. So, mission-wise, I'll start there. Why not? Yeah. Uh, Maven, yeah, get us through... Testing basically. Yes, to do testing. Um, yes, to basic training. <laughs> not a clue. Not a clue. Good, good, good. Uh, blow stuff up. Blow stuff up. Uh, <laughs> don't guess your own mission. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can we get XP for that? <laughs> um, I think I think he might have had a tip off that there may have been an assassination attempt, yeah. so was ready to, to jump in on the way mm -hmm. uh, and then offer services from uh, the, the thing to say. Services. Uh, uh, thing services. to say for each person. Uh, thing to say. Um, second in command. Uh, the vernacular of his mother's name or grandmother's name. Nice one. Um, stuff. <laughs> yep. Roly poly. Roly poly. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> things. You, um, you ever written down? Right for, yeah, no, yeah, 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 you ever written down it? 20, 20, 20 years old. It's like bloody countdown, old. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If it's yours, you're sorry. You can interpret them later. We could have all been for this. Between information you had to impart and phrases you had to say. Yeah. So 200 years old is the one for... Um, yeah, it's the information we're trying to get. It's not the phrases. Right. I thought it was the phrase. Yeah. I was writing down everyone's yeah. phrases. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, I think, I'll do, I'll do them person at a time. So Maven, I think that one of the things I had to say was that witches will be accepted in time, mm. that it is going to be okay accepted. we are nice. accepted. And I think the mission was to bring us all to Magnus. Mm -hmm. um, Alana, I don't know what the mission was. I think the thing she had to share was that she's married to a spirit. Mm -hmm. Married mm. to a spirit. Um, Louis, um, I think the th thing he had to say was that he was a royal representative of Sigmar, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and his mission was to, to kill Magnus. Um, and Oof. Magdalena, I'm uh, like not sure actually of information, although I'm, I'm reasonably sure it was the Ulrich one, that's a really good one. Um, <laughs> but I thought her mission was to secure an alliance between the guild and Magnus. And finally... So, um, going around the table, um, I thought Maven wanted to convince us of the, the larger piece around the Ruinous Powers, Sorry. that it wasn't just a empire mm -hmm. thing. Um, for Andy, his expression of excitement about magic. He seemed much more excited. He, Friedrich was much more excited about magic than anybody else, and mm -hmm. he expressed it constantly. You're also jaded. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Quite <literally>. um, <laughs> for uh, Alana, um, yeah, her connection to the water spirit, and that it was a partner uh, of no particular gender. Um, and you, you represented the, the skepticism and the need to be convinced. Unlike the rest of us, you weren't. You weren't on board. And missions? Um, missions, well, Ed was pretty obvious at the end of it. Uh, Maven's 
was to successfully get us all signed up mm-hmm. and agreeing to help. Um, I don't know if we got to that. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, oh, for yeah. Allah, <laughs> I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Um, apart from convincing us that she could change her face and that it was very natural. I don't know what her mission was. Um, and likewise with Friedrich. Um, Good to know. I'm not sure. Right, so now let's get your sheet out because you're about to get yourself some XP. Okay. Okay, so first, <coughs> what was your first one? My facts to drop. Facts to drop. Um, I believe that the Wizards Guild of Middenheim must support Magnus's edict, but the Wolf Emperors don't wish to lose their magical monopoly. Did she say that? Yes. Yeah, you did. So did. you get the XP for that one. Thank you. That's 20. Um, I'm from House Hellstein and we practice ancient magics of the Tutor. Uh, yes. Yeah, like yeah. Good job. I wrote that bloody down. Although that's, the the thing, that that's the thing because that I was I getting at, the, the ancient magic. Do I yeah. get a point for that? Because I... Yeah, well, get oh, we'll get to oh, we'll the point do that after. Else, yeah, yeah. Uh, and magic is accepted in Ulrich's like Empire because Ulrich is ultimately practical. Yep, nice. said all those nice. things. Yeah. You've got your XPs now. Did nice. anyone guess any of hers? I think I no. guess I guess the one about the, the Ulrich. The Ulrich one. Yeah. Which one what did you say? What did you write down? Um, mm-hmm. Cheater. <laughs> well, she, 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 she definitely said that Ulrich that practical well, and that's why the wizards accept it yeah, no, she, I wrote she that it was okay, ancient so, Teutonian magic that yeah. they had practiced magic in the time of Ulrich yeah that is slightly different actually yeah. Yeah. No, um, the, no, no, but, the, but the Teutonian bit yeah, 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 no, it's not that one it's the last one that I think I no, think I you said so, um, I'm going to give you to remind people of the service yeah I'm going to give you five and I'm going to give Sage 10, 20, 35 um, so I'm going to record I, I, well, no, 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 no. I, Excuse me, I'm not finished. Uh-huh. I also, I also think. No, oh, no, no, that's not. That's not. I didn't write that down. Okay, cool. we were had to write So what was one. the thing you needed to say three okay. times? Unfortunately, it was Ulrich's tits. And did you say Ulrich's tits three times? I think you only did it twice. I did it twice. And I would have probably Very said it as I vaporised. Ulrich's tits. Oh, oh, I know why I wanted more XP because I helped Kath with the magical monopoly. I said, but they you don't did. want to lose their magical. They don't. Yeah, you, you did played help right into yeah. my hands. Yeah. Yeah. Sadly, you don't get XP for helping but other people good, get their right? XP. Yeah, very very nice collaborative XP. I didn't venture. know I was being and collaborative. Finally, your mission. What was it? My mission. For Fifty XP, which I didn't get to because somebody blew me up. I'm was, sorry. Was to either convince Teclis, uh, Kremovich, or Magnus to ally with the Wizard Guild of Middenheim, and say that the guild is the answer for all of our empires, not just Middenheim. Mm. Which I, so I was I waiting got, for the audience to do. Got half of your so mission. did anybody yeah, get her one? No. Well, I, I said like to get an alliance between Magnus and the guild. So that's mm. part of it. And I mm. said she was there to offer the support of the guild. Mm. So um, you're no. both wrong yeah. because yeah. she had no ability to offer the support of the guild. Yeah. Um, what she was trying to do was to get them to, to basically go up and do the thing mm. um, using what she knew to further that particular oh, agenda. So, right, so yeah. it's, it's a subtle distinction, but I'm going to hold it So, because you didn't get it, and sadly mm. I don't think anyone yeah. sort of gets yep. that one, I yep. think. Um, right, Addy! Okay, so my cool back to have? drop. Um, my mother is a dannery of yeah. House Nixa. Fuck yeah. <laughs> so I don't think you got it all. What? Oh, come on. Because you said the, the funny pronunciation of the, the name, nah, but actually, got, it's of on, House Nixa. is got to give that. It's his pronunciation. I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy because you, you did, yeah. you did yeah, have a vernacular um, of the whole thing. I'll give you your 10 XP for that one, mm, and you get totally. your XP, obviously, for that one, too. Um, the, uh, I was a captain of the Caribou Greatswords, but I had to mm. flee when magic hit me in my late 30s. Yep, yep, yep. Aww. Definitely said so that. obvious. Yeah. I and, that bit. <laughs> and I feel a little dirty getting this one, um, but I figured out how to cast with help from Dan's character over the last two years. Nice. So I did, oh, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yeah, you did. You did yeah. say it. I feel a little no, dirty because so you anybody, queued it up. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Did anybody catch any of those ones? No. I nope. said you <clears throat> said something about being a captain, but Excellent. about the captain guy, but I didn't actually yeah. say the words about well, no, well, no, it was, it was more in the captain. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the what's worth noting... 40 XP for Sage. The only one I got was the... The, the things that you guys guessed were yeah, the yeah, deliberate yeah. red hair yeah, type that are yeah, melting I, I, my officer's yeah, face yeah, off and pissing yeah, yeah, myself. Yeah, like, yeah. Those were. Yeah. You're yeah. getting XP if you're watching Sage. Bizarre. Um, if, if, I, next. I said by Sigmar more than three times. Yes, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was an obvious one. That's what I thought we were guessing. I spent the whole time yeah. writing things down. 
Um, and your mission. And my mission. So, like, I, I definitely didn't achieve it because mm. somebody blew us up because, like, everyone else yeah, was, was just, waving. Just However, I, and I definitely, so therefore I know I'm not going to get the, the full thing, but maybe it, you'll give me a partial. I might. So my, my mission was... <laughs> He's trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Well, I'll, I'll explain my rationale. So I'll my mission, read out first. So my mission was to... I'm, I'm trying to. Uh, my mission read was... Read it out, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Andy. Have in my hand a piece of paper. Um, my mission was to convince either Teclas Finrir or Yurtle <laughs> to teach uh, teach me how to create magical oh, artifacts. Oh yes. yeah, um, don't and, and I had a, yeah. a phrase I was meant to say that. So yep. I was. I'm. You so, didn't do the, the, no. the tail end, but you did do the deed, so yes. to speak. So and, well, um, well, you said it to yeah. I said, no, no, I didn't say it to Volnage. I said it to Peter, because Peter oh, seemed Peter. to have influence yeah, with the sorry. elves. Yeah. So I was laying the groundwork with Peter ahead of saying the tech was nailed, thing. But you were definitely so I definitely don't think right I deserve direction. it all, but um, I wonder if maybe a little mm -hmm. token... You, know. um, you didn't speak to any of the right people, though. Yeah. <laughs> but I, but I uh, spoke to quite important. But I spoke. But I deliberately. So, so, so my rationale was I deliberately <laughs> spoke to the person you're who gonna brought get the fifteen. Elves. That's fine. I'll them. take it. That's all. Yeah. Um, that's <laughs> all I'm angling for. Yeah. That's Ed. All I'm angling Hello. For. The defense. Hello. Uh, all right. Yeah. Why not, Ed? Let's drop these facts, son. Uh, Sigmar did not need witches. Neither does the Empire. Defo, mm -hmm. right? Smash that out maybe fact. two to yeah. three times. Yeah. See, that's more of an opinion than a fact. Well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm slipping back into Leopold mode. Sorry. Uh, the Wolfens. Uh, my family will never accept the magic edict that goes against Sigmar. Yeah, 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 Drop that, that bad boy. Elves cannot be trusted. Yeah. <laughs> got that one. Okay, so who, how many people got? One, we two. all got the elves. Yeah, I, I think everybody got the elves. was oh, right. skeptical of the whole magic thing. I yeah, that's that um, not one of his um, <clears throat> ones. So no, um, you both get 10 XP for that. Yeah. Let's mark down Sage's XP for that run. Nice one. I did it for you, Sage. <laughs> and <laughs> your what uh, you needed to say at least three times. Uh, witches will never be accepted. Uh, which I did. Yes, yes, yep. you, yes, you definitely did. Yeah. Um, and your mission. Um, no one's going to get this one. It was to have a little drink with someone. No. <laughs> I'll read no. it. No. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. So you get you got the big blow up mission yeah. though. Um, yeah. you got um, arguably the easiest one, but yeah. it, uh, it's also the easiest one for everyone else to get. So mm. it all balances and, out in the end. Because and do we get they got hard XP ones, for but, getting his? Um, yes, you do. You get yourself ten XP uh, for. And I don't each. get you, any of it. Um, no, you get the fifty XP. Oh, do I? Yeah, you, oh, you did it. Nice. You did it. Yeah, you're still. Yeah. You've got did your you mission. Say the so. thing at the bottom of it though. Yeah, pretty much. Which is one that be accepted for Sigma. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Sigma. You just had that repeated all through your thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. I got two down. And I was like, all right, well, I can just wait for the bomb. And then I said it managed to get it somewhere else, which was nice. Facts to drop. You normally masquerade as Rainier Stark, a male mummer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep, yep, yep. You were taught Elthrine by your spouse, Lorely of the Reich, a shape shifting water spirit that is like yes. a male <laughs> I had to say it a few times to get all those To make sure all the things were And yeah. it was out. And I was yeah. originally from House Holschwick. Excellent. So, how many people got any of those? I got the middle one. Okay, that's fine. I literally got share info yeah. on her spirit. Yeah. I'll give you five for that. Mm. Yeah. I, I maybe got part of her middle one about her being married to a water spirit. Yeah, what did you say? I, I, I literally was that she's married to a water yeah, spirit. Yeah, I'll give you five for that too. Yeah. Jam Rolly Polly? No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Rolly Polly was a red herring. Oh, oh. Total red herring. <laughs> oh, that Rolly Tasty. Polly it herring. It just came upon me. <laughs> I don't want to know about that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think it didn't he even <laughs> grow up in Nordland <laughs> where jam Rolly Polly's are famous. It was indeed um, one giant lie. I had to say it three times. This isn't what it seems, which I did. I don't. I wouldn't even. That's that. yeah. So that's yeah, I know. Very, you, in fact, very... it, it, like, were we guessing? the things you had to say I would have guessed that because when you said it about the door it was so out of place oh, <laughs> I, was like, yeah. that's, I was like that's clearly the thing you need to say um, so yes Tick you get that point and finally what was your mission My and mission. did you complete it <laughs> yes yeah I did my mission was to find out the real name of Lorley I mean I don't know if I did find out but Finn someone said it you did until yeah. I said yeah. it yeah. and when doing that say calmly she was abandoned by your kind yeah and you did yeah. Did anyone guess the mission? I don't think so. No, no. Yeah, no, good bounce off that one. And finally, we had arrived. Uh, uh, Ed, Ed is it Ed? Maven. It's Ed. <laughs> 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 like a cricket it's Dan. <laughs> so she had Dan, the Irish. Guy. She had three facts to drop. Uh, one she was forced to drop. Uh, she's two hundred and three years old. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, she has that. seen the end of times coming from Kislev. Yes, I got that right. Yes. <laughs> and she's from the Grunfeld Great Family Worshippers of the Mother. So who got ones of those? Two, okay. 
She Good. definitely dropped all three. So. Yeah, you yep. did. Yeah, you, you did. did. You did. I, th I think um, I got confused between what was just biographical versus yeah. mm -hmm. info mm -hmm. drop. That's it's tricky. In some respects, that was on purpose. It's quite funny. To try and, you know... It's it's oh, to muddy the horse. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. She had to say yeah, three times. I think I only said it twice. No, uh, blood, blood will out. I only heard it once. No, I definitely, no, he I definitely, definitely got it said twice. it twice. Yeah, because I remember you saying it the second time as if you were like... As, like I said oh. before, blood will yeah. 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 If only this was recorded. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So I, yeah, maybe I can help us. Well, if you watch it back and you did see it, you can get the XP. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll I'm totally pretty sure it's only that. twice. Yeah. Okay, and finally, your mission. mission. So, some of you kind of got it, but not fully so. To ensure the five of us arrive in the palace, never split under any circumstances, and receive an audience with Magnus of House build off him. You got it. Mm. Well done. I did yeah. not say the appropriate thing. Though. What was the appropriate thing Our you had to say? Blood is stronger together. Mm. So um, we'll so, take off Tay's piece. You might okay, have so done. Had you not been that. blown up? Okay, so I feel like you might have said that. I maybe. definitely did not say it. Did somebody else I was say trying it? to find like the exact thing. I said like we're yeah. all stronger together. Yes, you ah, definitely said something like similar. Yeah. I felt yeah. if I said our blood, it would just sound way too obvious. Yeah. I feel like, 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 like quite a bit of his mission. Yeah, what did yeah. you say for your one? Um, uh, well, I didn't <laughs> make sure that <laughs> I said it on That's the stream. Literally, what she got written down is make sure that. But I so, said it a minute ago. Be, uh, kind of people. I said yeah. it a minute ago. I said yeah. make sure so that five? we all got through training and uh, that we all got through and that yeah, we yeah, offered yeah. our uh, support. Uh, everyone who did the half bits on it, they can get themselves five XP. Right. Um, so that'll be <laughs> right. Can we add up how much we got from that session and give me the total, please? Oh no, I, I just added it to my actual amount. Um, I think I got one hundred and twenty. You think you got one hundred? I think I started the day with no one hundred and twenty-five. Actually, I think I started at eight twenty. 80. 135. How much did you get? 80. You got 80? 135. 135? 125. 125. 185. 185. Wow. That's my mission. Holy crumolians! And all yeah. of my fat. I feel like such an underachiever. <laughs> and? You got oh, 125. So, Lindsay, you got a choice. Mm -hmm. Take a fate point or give it to Sage. Fuck Sage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have got hardly What was that? <laughs> <laughs> You have got hard air. I'm glad this is recorded. Yeah. Um, uh, I that, Aaron. It's, it's a horrible choice. I do only have one. You do yeah, only have you one. Do, only have do it. One. Take it. Take, take it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Leopold would tell you to take it. Would yeah. You? Yeah. yeah. yeah I'll On take that it. beach. In Screw you, Sage. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of XP. Yeah. Um, and yeah, she just got herself um, 125. In fact, nice. um, so she told you not bad like for it. not turning up. Pardon? She told that oh. she. Oh, oh. 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 Yeah. Thank, nah, you. Too late. No. thank you. Okay, you also got yourself 125 XP, Sage. If you want to go add that to your card we sheet? Absolutely you. marvelous. And I'll course, remember that. We Sage. miss you loads. And with that, odd plumbing down into history. <laughs> Into events that are surprisingly similar yet completely different did to that, the events that we're hitting today. Yeah, did, did that actually happen in the history? Who knows? But, well, and on that, <laughs> <laughs> we bring the episode to an end. <laughs> See you all next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.